so Thank much, you buddy. So much. Loving your videos, man. I mean, they, they you get the highlights, you put them all together, you bring more people to Smash, and... And you also give people five dollars randomly, so thank you. We, we appreciate that, buddy. All right, Pokemon Stadium is the pick. Palutena versus Rob. I would assume that Palutena wins this matchup because there is a little bit of a stigma about Palutena, and that it, uh, not a stigma about Palutena specifically, but you know, I mean, well, actually, yeah, about her specifically. Never mind. In that she does well against heavies because yeah. they're just so big. You know, it's so easier for her to be able to land the neutral air, and it doesn't even matter like what part of the neutral air it is. You know, she'll be able to get that damage set up into combos, and on this stage as well. You know, if she just gets like the falling first couple of hits of neutral air. That's going to sink uh, the raw player onto the platform, you know, where she's just going to be able to jump up and get another neutral air and then just start the cycle all over again. That and she also has a reflector. And yeah. Rob is kind of a completely projectile based character. So. But, yeah, but another important thing about this matchup is the way Rob has to recover around Palutena. Like, if he goes high, Ooh. Ooh, he could eat like a nair. A Falcon stomp. He could eat like a back air, up air. And if he goes low, Palutena can nair or down air him. Yeah, see, like. It's hard for Rob to get around that. Yeah, he's just got to find some way towards ledge. I mean, and the back there are going to be able to do it. Yeah. Rob, though, has definitely much more uh, recovery options in this game than he does in the last one. Mm -hmm. For a couple of reasons specifically. The air dodging mechanic helps him out a lot because now he can, like, directional air dodge out of his upbeat and then just drift back and forth back towards the ledge or just mix that up in any way he chooses to. And on top of that, he also can uh, now double jump out of his upbeat. He used to not be able to do that. The second he oh. did his, the second he did his uppy in the last game, he couldn't jump anymore. He had to commit to just using the uppy, which made his recovery more linear than you would think, uh, more linear than it really should have been in that game. And now Rob has plenty more ways to recover, but a lot of that doesn't really matter against Palutena, like you said, because she could just launch the explosive flame off stage, do a falling neutral air, just whatever the situation calls for. Palutena can pretty much answer oh, that as he frozen. tries to go for yeah. the ledge cancel. Wow, unfortunately not getting it. The spacing just a little bit off. Oh, he tried to pick up the gyro. Yeah, it's a little hard. And, oh, he just F smashes the gyro. Let's get out of here. Down throw to a bear. What did gyro ever do to you? Other than, like, ledge trap you in the previous game. There's a falling there. I mean, at the very least, Rob will be able to live that for a long oh, time. Oh, that was such a smart up smash to yeah. catch the air dodge. And I think that's honestly where Palutena excels in his matchup, is off stage, being able to abuse Rob with, like, Nair and, like, other stuff. I mean, I don't think it's that much, uh, I don't think she really suffers on stage for this matchup too much either, you know, just the neutral airs and the neutral, you know. Yeah, you're it's right. Just, it just does so much for her. That on top of the fact that she has a reflector as well. I mean, it is a relatively slow reflector, so, you know, most Robs will be able to shield in time depending on how hard they throw the gyro, so it's really up to the Rob player to know how hard they should throw that uh, depending on the circumstance. It's rough, though, for Rob, especially if the Palutena is consistent oh. in parrying, and that just barely didn't kill. Wait, isn't that, like, a, a new thing where if you get, like, the the forward pivot cancel down tilt, it combos in the, like, up smash or something? Up smash? The fo I'm sorry, the forward pivot what? Like, if you do one down tilt, and then you run and do the pivot cancel down tilt, but you make sure it still faces forward, you, like, slide a little bit, and you can combo the second down tilt in, like, a, in, like, a smash attack. I'm not completely sure. I think sure. that's like a new thing people just found out recently. But I think Dill was trying to do that. Can't say that I'm aware. Let's see, Rob just sinking down. Baiting him with the jet hammer oh. just a little bit, trying to get Frozen to approach, but he's not going to do it, and now all the stage control is his. Ooh, you don't want to press too many buttons off stage, not without the stock. You don't want to get dared. Yeah, when it comes to like, uh, Palutena going down there for the nair. Really, who, who's going to bite first? Oh, I love that! Oh, man, the gyro into the explosive flame right there. Such good usage of his uh, the own uh, of Rob's own item right there. And this may hit. not do it. No, yeah, not yet. Rob's heavy, heavy lad. And I think Frozen's going to elect to stay on stage here. He doesn't want to risk anything. Oh, that trading nair right there was super important for Rob. Yeah. He would have died. Oh, no. Is, that, is there enough rage? Oh, no, not just enough, not just yet. That was actually really, really scary for Frozen. Yeah. He has but he has max rage, so I didn't know if he was going to be able to get the confirm there. Like most heavies, Rob does have really strong smash attacks. And that's, yeah, that that's going to do that it. Yeah. Doubt. His DI was good, too. You see how he went all the way to the top blast zone? All the way to the top left corner? Too bad for you. But it's not going to matter at that percent. Too bad for you. Palutena says to Rob. Rob says, does not compute. Because he's a robot. Town and City is the ban.
Oh, Yeet Smash donated what? $100? Oh. Whoa, Whoa, that's crazy. You're broken, dude. Thank you very much. Yeet wow. Smash $100. Yo, are you going to put that in one of your own compilations? <laughs> going to be yo, top, top, yo, top, <laughs> top 10, 10 on stream donations? Top 10 Yeet Smash Just trying donations. to get a little limelight yourself, my guy. I see you. I see you, Yeet. Top 10 Yeet Smash donation. That would be a very expensive video to make. Yeah, absolutely. But <laughs> <laughs> every every placement on the list would be more and more expensive. Yeah, but Yeet, thank you so much. We really appreciate your support. We honestly, that's just that's super generous, uh, ge generous, yeah. generous of you. Thank you. We hope we, we're hoping you're enjoying the show. And here we go, running it off to Pokemon Stadium again. A wonderful stage for Palutena. It gives her all the space in the world to be able to set up her, uh, force her advantage and set up her neutral air combos. But Rob as well, plenty of space to be able to just play his RTS, play the projectile game. Because if Rob plays his cards right, if he can still overwhelm Palutena if he gets up close enough and just lands the gyro combos when he has to. But the thing is, though, she has a reflector and also just really good buttons. Did he, yo, yo he, he Z-dropped it, he Z dropped it, it yo, to be able to get the Nair. Wow. That's actually really good. Yeah. Straight up saying anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah. Because that's what Rob does. Yeah, Rob had that exact same combo. Exactly. All right, explosive flame forcing him to go low. And air dodging past is Dill. Directional air dodging is huge for Rob. And you're going to see another one? Not staying off stage this time. F tilt, perhaps? Yes, they called it from a mile away. Good reach. Uh, yeah, I know, dude. I'm such a good commentator. That's a lock! Oh, wow, that, never mind. He, he didn't really go very far from that. Yeah, Rob's forward smash is actually not very strong. Huh. I'm going to be completely honest. It's not one of his better smash attacks. Up smash, on the other hand, definitely something else. This should be a down smash. He's going to go for the... Oh, actually, just an up tilt right there. I thought he was just going to jump and get the uh, up air. Mayhaps he thought that uh, Frozen was just going to, like, mash down air or something, like a really quick aerial to get, get him off of him after he jumped, which could have potentially set him into something bad if he didn't oh, attack. Wow. And I think he recognized that situation right there. So the, the not gyro there was... Now Palutena is hit of the reflector. So when uh, Dill landed on it with forward air, it hit him and sent him into the nair. But that down smash is going to take uh, the first stock from Frozen. Yeah, you want to talk about some good smash attacks. Rob has a couple of them. His up smash is very potent, but down smash has such good range and such good kill power. And now with smash attacks being able to be done instantly out of a dash, that is definitely a kill option for Rob now. Run up, down smash, as we just saw right there. Ooh. My man didn't even oh, need to wow. parry that, but he you did. see that ledge cancel over the laser, forward air, forward air him in the face. Yeah, I got to say, Frozen has better ledge canceling like, and more consistent ledge canceling than literally any Palutena I've seen. Yeah, that was a very smart use of the ledge canceling. Because he just he doesn't even do it to style either. He does it when it's optimal, which yeah. is crazy, you know? It's hard to do that in situations where it's really optimal, where it's going to work, but he's just so consistently doing it every time. And there we go, yeah. two neutral airs into each other. All aboard the Nair train. Vroom, vroom. Train to go room. I'm drunk. <laughs> In a church? No, no it was, what are you talking about? Oh, I actually like that right there. He recognized the down tilt was coming out, so he decided to just like jump above it with the uh, neutral B. I think it was kind of a weird option, and he could have gotten punished for it, but I mean, Frozen oh, didn't again. expect it, and it didn't work. So Another sick ledge cancel coming out from Frozen. Here we go, the rising forward air off of the ledge. Such a quick option. Ooh, oh, the call hey, out. Yo, the call all right, out. All right. yo, you saw the empty hop from before. He, he, he wasn't going for any up airs. So many other Robs would have just gone for an up air there. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's a good option. But, you know, he think he recognized that um, I think he recognized that Frozen was looking for that and was going to, like, potentially, like, falling neutral air or something. And instead, oh, yo, the side oh, I can't the even get my thoughts him. out. You know, Dill just keeps doing the thing. Wow. That was a really good option right there, actually covering the tech roll. Two bases right there off of the double down tilt. It's so scary when Rob's just run up and down tilt like that. And I think that's just one of the reasons that, you know, like, Dill likes this character so much. You know? Because he just runs up and down tilts out of a dash. Like Diddy called. Like Diddy used to do. Yeah. And that explosive flame is going to do it. Yeah. Rob is a heavy, heavy lad, but no percent that high is going to be able to do it on, out of the, that percent. But Palutena with her comeback factor. Explosive flame to the neutral air. To the up air. Look at that damage already. Yeah, 43%. Off of three hits. Crazy. Yeah. Palutena's damage output is absolutely bonkers. Yeah. And, like, her damage output was, like, like off a single hit, she didn't get much in the last game, but the fact that she got consistent, like, throw follow-up was, like, really good for her overall damage output. Oh, my god. Flaming it back. Claiming the gyro. 
Not grabbing it, actually. He's just letting it rock. Oh, he's trying to go for a spike. Micro spacing landing right oh, on the ledge right be, there, but the back yeah, air. That back air is super strong. It, it can be kind of tempting to just jump up there and hit Rob. Such a big target. You want to hit him with forward air, like, forward air and air. But, like, you have to respect, like, his options that can kill you. Like yeah. That. Back air is definitely a very potent kill option right there. And a very strong lasting hitbox as well. It stays out for quite some time. So it can be used to cover options, used to recover, used as a uh, get off me move. Actually, not a get off me move. Never mind. Uh, there, there was something else I was going to say, but I forgot. Either way, Rob's back air. Definitely quite a good move, as you saw right there. Able to kill Frozen right there and win that game two for Dill. And he's thinking about his ban right here. Not exactly sure what he's going to do. Smashville is the okay. pick. I kind of like that ban coming out from um, from Dill. And why is that, Eric Gordon? Uh, mainly because, like, Rob, you still kind of want to, like, have that space to play the, the zoning game. You know what I mean? And on Smashville, you really can't do that. Plus... More likely, your hits are going to send you off stage because the stage is narrower mm -hmm. than the other stages. So, like, a combo from, like, the right side of Battlefield going left won't send you off stage, but it might on Smashville. And on top of that, the stage is quite small as well. You know, less room for a big boy like Rob to be able to get around that big neutral air of Palutena's. Battlefield is the pick instead, though. Ooh. Oh, teleporting up. I recognize the situation immediately. Not No two frames here. Oh, that's an interesting up air coming out right there. I think he tried to reset the combo with the falling up air right there instead of just continuing uh, it with another neutral air or two. My man Frozen said he wants big damage. Fortunately for him, it's not going to work out, but he already... No, he lost the lead by 1%. Never mind. All right. Oh, Bad he just runs up and does right it. There. Yeah. That's how you beat Explosive Plane. If, oh, Yo, I, my man tried to do some cheesy stuff, yeah, and now, now he, put he is in a, a pretty bad, bad place. And air dodging at just the right time off is Dill to avoid the down air. Down throw to Bear. Yep, not going to do it against Rob, though. He is way too heavy of a lad, and Battlefield way too big of a stage. That was a sneeze. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't mean a hiccup there. First knock going to uh, Frozen. What? You're nuts. You're extremely You're nuts. You're nuts. Frozen is nuts. All right, I think Dill actually even smirked himself a little bit for that one. Seriously, that's what I'm saying before. I really have not seen any Palutena, at least any Palutena in the area, utilize uh, flow cancels the way that Dil, uh, that Dil, the way that Frozen does. Yeah. It's just remarkable. It's, he only and he only does it in situations where it works too. Is that yeah, smash honestly, out of shield? Yeah, yeah. It's not like stock. he just like, hey, look at my tech. I'm gonna try and get a highlight reel because I'm on stream and he just spams it. No, he, he uses <laughs> it intelligently. Honestly, yeah. That's the difference between a, a Frozen and an Intunist. <laughs> is that when you try to do something cool, it works. When you're frozen. He tries to frame trap him with the explosive flame again, and he does, forcing him to air dodge, parrying the uh, parrying the gyro oh, for no reason. He no, he's good. He can air dodge up, and now he's dead. Yeah, he ran. I'm just this misfacing from Dill right there, and just not realizing the situation completely. And it's going to cost him a stock, and here we go. The Z drop again. Oh, oh my goodness. Frozen is actually crazy with the gyro. He honestly is. He's utilizing... Bro, he's uh, dare, gotten, I, dare I say, he's utilizing the gyro in these combos better than Dill is. A little bit. I mean, we've seen him do, like, G-drop Nair twice in a combo. I haven't seen Dill do that once a set. Mm, yeah, and Dill going for the down throw right there. Way too low for percent to do that. That's an instant mash out coming out from uh, coming out from Frozen. You don't want to be doing the down throw with Rob too early because you don't want to stale it, and uh, you're going to be able to mash out at relatively early percents. It's pretty much best used just for, like, higher percents or for the kill confirm and down throw off smash at, like, crazy higher percents. Dill, of course, you know, recognizing Frozen was at that weird percent, though, not knowing which one to get. Back air covering the platform right oh. there, just catching him yeah. out of the teleport, but not going to be able to do anything off of it. And this should be, uh, oh, no, I think it's oh, just... Another grab release. I think it's just mashing right... No, not mashing. I think it's just, like, uh, pummeling right now to be able to get the damage because he knows he's not going to be able to get anything off of a throw. Yeah, but, like, even you with You just throw, forward throw or back throw off stage. Yeah, you, you, know? you still get position, so exactly. I think it would be... I still think the throw would be... Better. And forward smash. Yeah, another bad explosive flame coming out from Frozen. Yeah. I think all of Rob's throws are actually useful in this game. Up throw for like a kill throw and for the combo throw, forward and back throw to get him off stage when like down neither throw. forward and then when neither up or down throw is gonna work, and then yeah. down throw for the kill confirm. Yeah. If anything, he might even be able to get more damage off of a forward throw into a neutral B, but I digress. Frozen. 
up, up very high in percent in this game. No percent on his last stock right now. 123.1 on uh, Dill's final one. Ooh, trying to cover a tech roll in with the uh, long-lasting uh, hitbox that is the Palutena's down tilt. Now, I like how Fro uh, Frozen got the grab, but he didn't go for back throw there because he knew it wasn't going to kill, so he didn't want to stale it out. Oh, here oh. we go. Oh, oh and the, the sandwich gyro. combo from the gyro. No pun intended. <laughs> I get it, gyro. Okay. Seriously, no pun intended. I didn't mean to do that, but that's going to do it. You want to talk about what people mean to do. Uh, my man Frozen meant to do that falling neutral air, and he meant to win game number three against Dill. Yeah, that drop zone there, extremely useful in this matchup. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's extremely useful in a lot of matchups. But this one especially, considering, you know, how, um, what am I going to say here, how vulnerable Rob's recovery can be to characters with strong offstage presences. Presences. Presence. Presence. And we're going back to stadium. Christmas. And same characters. No switches, no Deddy Kangs here. Here we go. Game number four, Palutena versus Rob. Frozen versus Dill. Up 2-1 over his man, Dill. The Battle of the House of 3K. Let's get into it. All right. Trying to get some up, uh, up tilt confirmations right there. Nothing coming out for Dill right there. I actually like that explosive frame, uh, flame right there. You know, explosive flame in neutral is, especially when it's like raw and neutral, you know, like when somebody yeah, just does it's, it without unprovoked, it's, it's only, not that good. It's only useful, I feel like, in the, these campier mat matchups, where like you're both already going to be sitting back. Yeah. Against like someone like Fox or Chrom, like they're just going to run in and hit you. With someone like maybe Rob or Snake, where they're already chilling back, trying to throw things at you, it, it, it has its uses. He caught like a rollback from the, uh, the gyro hit right there, though. He knew he was going to roll back there. Trying to down throw bear, the percent is not quite there. Both these guys just spamming their safe aerials, trying to get something started. Oh, Oy! that was so cool. Yeah, the gyro setup, man. Gyro Delicious. Shield, and it should be an up. No, he's going for up tilt there instead. I think Dill knows something that I don't. Well, nice for to get off the ledge, realizing that uh, Frozen overextended and gave up the stage. Oh, that was that looked close. I'm trying to go. Well, did you? Yeah, you I, have, I have a teleport recovery. I can just go right by. The no, gyro. not that. The fact that Dill like B reversed mid air in order to reacting to that teleport on stage. I actually did not notice that. Thank you for pointing that out to me. Yeah, Rob definitely turned around. So that's more than just like holding in. Neither of these players taking a stock yet, about two minutes into the match. Or three, if it was eight minutes, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Explosive flame it off. Both these guys are crazy oh high percent. I just noticed that Frozen's at 176. That's yeah. not usually the percent you see Palutena living. Yeah, you know, one of her flaws as a character oh is that goodness. she is kind of light. So what happened was is that uh, Dill threw the gyro and it got hit by the explosive flame and knocked up in the air. And then it came back down and it hit Frozen. Oh, I think Down tilt, almost killing. Yeah. Actually, it did kill. Wasn't able to make it back. Yeah, he didn't have it. He ledge jump. He did a jump from ledge, so that uh, like he didn't have a double jump after the down tilt. He died. Yeah. Trying to get some gyro combo started of his own, but the uh, uh, approaching neutral air gonna be able to take that stock, and all of a sudden we are even once again. Right, falling neutral air. Jabbing instead. I think he meant to grab right there, but somehow got a jab out of it. Or maybe he just wanted to get like a rapid jab and set up into a set up into an offstage mix-up or something. He, however, Frozen was not able to get anything off of it, and Dill is still sitting pretty in the advantage because of it. <laughs> neutral air gonna toss him off. Looking for another one. Trying to fair him off, nair him off. Just put those hitboxes out towards Rob ex uh, Rob's exploitable uh aerial presence, to say the least, you know. One of Rob's struggles as a character is that if your character has good hitboxes like Palutena does, he can struggle to land, because his landing options can be a little linear, because a lot of Rob's love to land with Nair, and not too much else. So unless he mixes up with, like, by, like, uh, stalling with a down air or something, oh not much goodness. he can do is the four down tilt string, almost putting Frozen a little too low with that air dodge. Literally just es escorting him to the ledge. Honestly, yeah. 
That was Nesco. It's like, right this way, miss. Right yeah. this way. Right this way. <laughs> just, pointing, just pointing exactly where she's going to go. Right this way. This should be a down throw into an up smash. I don't think he's going to be able to mash out. But I think the uh, up smash percent was a little bit higher. And I think Doe recognized that, actually. Just going for the up air instead, which also still works in this game yeah. at that percent. Now, I like this kind of adaptation coming out from Doe. Like, he, he now is in the lead. I think he's playing more of his game where he's able to keep Palutena out. Like, yeah, he's getting hit here and there, but, like, he's using Rob's weight to his advantage. And, like, he's okay with taking these hits as long as he doesn't die. Exactly. But he might not be okay taking that hit. Oh, no, he's fine. Uh, yeah. Never mind. He's not fine. Because that stock is going to do it. I mean, you saw him roll away earlier in between the neutral air. He's playing a little bit more of a wall-out game against Frozen right now. Palutena is one of those characters that, you know, once you let her in, you know, she's just going to take it at 50 so easily. And you just don't want that to happen. So this character has projectiles. He just wants to, like, put up a wall, make sure Palutena can't get in. And see what he can do with that. But so far, I mean, it looks like it's not working out too well for him anymore because uh, Frozen is able to take this lead. Missing a ledge cancel for the first time in the set, I think. All right, covering the options on the platform, nearing towards the left, and then uh, dash attacking towards the right to cover the tech roll. Oh, the explosive plane coming in clutch and uh, stopping the gyro. Yeah, that, that, that thing definitely overheats the gyro sandwich for sure. You know, it's just unedible at this point. You're going to have to, like, sue Subway to be able to get a good reimbursement. Ooh, I actually like the bait right there. I mean, like, what he was trying to do at least. Just, like, you know, like, mashing with the uppy a little bit, you know, just trying to, like, get him to come uh, forward, come off stage, and then just rising with the neutral air and then continuing to do it again. Oh. Yeah, but he's back on the ledge right now. Finds his way back on stage, recharging that gasoline. Oh, that grab would have been huge. Now, I will say, uh, if Fro while Frozen has the percent lead, if Dill can get like some sort of crazy combo into a side B off stage, I think Palutena might die. Yeah. If he's able to, a side B by the ledge will absolutely kill. Actually, not by the ledge, but off stage will kill. A couple more percent for the ledge, I would assume. Yeah, that's probably what Dill might be looking for right now. And it's good because he hasn't really, he's gotten like one kill like the entire set, but... Doesn't yeah, matter. But the back air is going to be able to do it right there. Frozen taking it 2-3-1 uh, over Dill. Advancing further into the loser's bracket. Let's take a look at this final stock yet again. Frozen yeah. staying away from him, keeping that distance away from Rob, mm -hmm. finding uh, his uh, finding his kill. Um, she did no longer have the ladder. Well, the, the ladder exists. It is very specific in order to get. Uh, yeah. It's very specific. That's what I was going to say because, like, it, it, this is going to be such an interesting matchup because Peach, you know, is just the amazing. Oh, oh whoa! Oh my goodness! The zero, to death, the zero to death, the quickest zero to death I've seen in my life. Oh, yo, what's up, Yeet? Yeah, Yeet. How are you? Top ten quickest stocks, I yeah. guess. I mean, oh my goodness. Or maybe just top ten blunder, something like that. Anyway, what I was going to say uh, before Juice just decided to let Ling Ling win the first game, or potentially win the first game for Mixes back. He's a god. That Peach, you know, being the amazing character she is, in previous games it would have been a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, ZSS just has, like, the ladder combos, but in this game you said they're very specific. ZSS, just a hollow shell of what she once was. It's very specific in this game, but Peach is still a really light character. I, I will and it's still a pretty good combo weight, like, for ZSS to be able to do the ladder roof combos on. So I think this matchup is going to be still really volatile, you yeah. know? Yeah. Especially more so in this game, which is, is how good of a character Peach is. CSS lost her uppy and her grab combo. But she gained a very useful tool in her side B. Which is great for juggling, it's great for ledge trapping, and it kills. Not only that, that but CSS true. still has like her mobility and like high speed. So she can like um, go like really far out like that. Yeah. In order to get you. Or still like space back air and stuff. And there you go, so, there's the side be able to close out that stock. I think we're still gonna see uh, in this matchup. Oh, good wait. Ooh. Is we're still gonna see ZSS kind of run circles around Peach a little bit, and it's gonna be up to uh, Lingling in order to like catch him or cut him off. Maybe mm -hmm. turn ups or like just throwing out hitboxes in the right spot. Yeah, absolutely. He's gonna need to get those callouts. It's gonna be crucial for him in order to be able to get those stocks. Nearing down to uh, trade with the turn up, make sure he doesn't get hit by and get launched back off stage with the forward air. Gonna be able uh, to take the stock right his head. there. He knows, like, this should be an even game, but I died at zero. Hey, man, that's crucial. Even if you just, like, self-destruct oh, in a horrible way like that, you just got to realize you can win this game. You can bring any game back. It's just all, all up to you to be composed. You can't let oh, it beat you up in the forward air. Just like I said back. that, even. 
What am I telling you, AJ? Yeah. What am I telling you, Eric Gordon? You know, you can't, even if you SD, you can't let that get to you because then all of a sudden, like, regardless of how good or bad, like, you think your opponent is, regardless of how good or bad you play, your opponent's gonna well, win. That down tilt. You can't let him in your head, man. And that's exactly what Juice is doing right now. He's shaking his head because he was upset at the situation, but he did not give up. That is crucial. And look at that. Completely even game now. Oh, my God. Juice is actually, if he wins this game, he's actually just amazing. Honestly? I mean, if he loses, it's going to be very unfortunate, but hey, man, sometimes he SD, and that's what happens. But anyway, that SD happened about, like, three minutes ago. Enough talking about that. Falling there, trying to get the back air. Yeah. No dice. Spacing the side B. Safe on shield yeah. with that spacing. Now, Lingling tried to go for a fair there. Yeah, that distance would be safe, but Zesus has, like, a really good burst option. This is in general his speed, so he's able to intercept it with a forward air of her own. Absolutely. See, see, there it is again. Like, he's reading, oh, I'm going to hit you in the startup of your forward air with my forward air. Yeah, you're going to be seeing ZSS has used that move a little more. And just barely not game. He was able to hang on. How is he going to make it back from ledge? Watch out for forward air. Move has a nasty overhead. Peach's forward air is definitely one of the game's uh, biggest how did that hit me move. Oh, yeah. And the back it, air. It, it definitely. How? To, like, how, how? Yeah, exactly. Oh, but the neutral air rising, able to beat out the down uh, the down B before he's able to get the hitbox out. Juice almost bringing that game back. Yeah, but he definitely does not look happy about that, though. I mean, who would be? Yeah. You know, no lad would ever be happy about that. Honestly, the I think the one confidence booster for him going into um, the next game is that, that, wow, that was super close, and I essentially played with two stocks. Yeah. So <laughs> basically, if he can like, he if was, I can yo, Juice play was like out that here. Again, Juice was do, out here playing Smash Four. Yeah. I'm sorry. If, Ju if Juice can say to himself, if I can just play like that for the next three games, I should be winning them all by one stock. Hey man, this is why we do sets instead of just one game. Yeah. Remember, like a casual Smasher comes in and be like, wait a minute, that guy won. I thought the I, I, I thought it was over. He just won yeah. the video game. He won the match. No, nah, dude, we do two out of three because not one match is not the only thing that determines skill in our game, my friend. Yeah, we need we need more time. It's about to adaptation. It out. Yeah. It's about we, learning. Exactly. We're going to town. Three, two, yes, we are. Go! Formerly the lowest uh, vertical ceilings in our uh, fine game of Smash Brothers we used to play. Now the highest in our uh, legal, current legal rule set of uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Formerly a great pick for ZSS. I mean, it's not going to matter too much, you know, if, like we're talking about like ladder combos because the platforms are still here. You know, the platforms are still here, and it doesn't matter how high you are. If ZSS is going to get that uppy, it still should kill at some pretty wonky percents, regardless of the high ceilings. Less so than it used to be, of course, but, you know, it's still definitely a really, uh, really prominent factor, especially if your character has root combos. You know, your basic ZSSs, your Marios, that kind of stuff. So I do think this is a good uh, pick for Juice, because I feel like he's going to be living a lot longer on this stage with the uh, kill options that Peach has specifically, as opposed to Juice's kill options, which, despite the ceilings, you know, isn't going to matter too much if he's still able to get those roof combos, but that's just going to make it like a little bit tougher for Ling Ling, you know, because uh, while that matters for him on this front is how am I going to get uh, Juice to not Ooh, do this Ooh, that me? was such a good call out on the on the side being in. Allows him to set up for that kill. Oh, and the taunt! Oh my goodness. Don't get taunt to get body. Okay, he's fine, yeah. Yeah, no. Not yet, not yet. Ooh, and the actual Zare stuffing out the... Uh, the Zare actually stuffing out Peach's side B right there. I didn't even know that would trade with that. Oh! Oh, oh my there it goodness! Is. There it is. Oh my goodness! There it is. You first saw it here. That uh, was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Is this, uh, that's a bread and butter. What are you talking about? I know, but that uh, also nah, still works. Game. Absolutely wonderful credit to Juice for being able to get that neutral air to the down B. A classic ZSS combo. The Talon City counterpick working wonders for him, if not just his soul, if not just his adaptation on its own. I mean, look at how he's doing against Juice already. Totally different ballpark, totally different game than what we saw from the first match. Oh, okay. Uh, the dash attack, not, not going to no, do it. No, not yet. The high ceiling helping out ZSS. Yeah, absolutely. And there we go, the forward air burst option, able to fight his way back in. <laughs> it's crawling away. Oh, he's definitely like, definitely feeling himself there. He, he was actually just trying to bait him. Yeah. He was feeling himself for sure, but he like he was in the he was in the kind of position where he was feeling himself so much where he's like, you know what, I can bait him just by crawling right now. But here we go, the increased damage off of the short hop macros. So prominent for Peach. Yeah. Because the game still thinks she's technically supposed to be full hopping. Exactly. So that's why she when she floats, that's why she gets uh avoids the the multiplier debuff. It's really nuts when you think about it. It's actually insane. Yeah. Like Peach's damage output is crazy because of that. And 
juice. He's just fishing for it. He's got no reason for it. He's got to make Peach the one to approach. I mean, she does have a very good projectile in the down beam, yeah. especially with the dot eyes. Very strong. When you saw how much that did on shield. Mm -hmm. When you're at fast at CSS and Peach is like kind of as slow as her, like you make her come to you. And you can try to nickel and dime him on the way. Like eventually, Ling Ling, if he's not patient, eventually he might just run into one of those side beats. Or do something like that. And oh, oh. and the whiff! Oh, most of the assessors with forward smash there, but no, my man, uh, my man Juice trying to hit him with the up smash instead. Perhaps yeah. he knows something that we don't, but unfortunately it does not work out for him. We have forward, oh no, he's going for the up throw already. It's actually surprising. Oh, oh. in the blast zone. Nice, nice, he knew he had a stock. The enhanced like, silent Simon Belmont with the side view <laughs> instead of the Zare. That's where Simon got his inspiration from. Yeah. Yeah, ZSS, you know, he, she, uh, he was already up a stock, so he's like, you know, if this misses, it's not the end of the world. Even so, you know, what is he going to do? He's going to hit me? Then what yeah. is he, how is he going to make it back? And, I, and Juice still had flip cake, so yeah. he, he would have made it back. Exactly. He knew the risk-reward there was definitely in his favor, which is why he decided to go for such a crazy option, like going off stage with the side B into the blast zone. Very uh, good situational, uh, blah, 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 situational blah, awareness coming out from Juice. Yep. Banning FD. Ling Ling looks... Uh, he's thinking a lot right now about what stage to pick. Absolutely, FD is the ban. Uh, that makes sense, actually, because, you know, no platforms with ZSS, less uh, potential. Oh, Battlefield. Very, very interesting choice coming out yeah. here. The and FD man makes total sense. You know, yeah. just, like, wide open space for Peach to be able to just get her combos. No platforms for him to not only be able to run to, but get his combos on. Yeah. And ledge cancel flip kick. Wait, you can't do that anymore. Never mind. Yeah. All right. Forgot. We do <laughs> have the uh, counter pick coming out. Yeah, Daisy. Yeah, man. A AKA the worst one. Oh, excuse me? Yeah, Peach is better than Daisy. I oh, said it. No, 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 no. I take no, a hard no, no, stance no. on this. Okay, we're going to have to fight about that later. Yeah. But anyway, Battlefield is the pick. Oh, we got mm, we got Metal Battle. This song is so hype. Yeah. All right. Battlefield as well. Another very high blast zone, you know. One thing that you're going to see a lot of ZSS is doing when they can't get these uh, ladder combos, which aren't as consistent as they were in the last game, is they try and get the they try and get their opponents a crazy high percent. So, you know, of course, like you any Smash player is to do, and they try to go for up throws instead when it's at, when they're at like wonky percent. You're going to see a lot of ZSS's do forward throw instead because it sets up for actually uh, more 50/50s and mix-up options, uh, actually as opposed to the down throw, which no longer you know easily converts into the uh, up air and ladder strings, you know. That's why I say ZSS, you know, a hollow shell of what she once was, but she is still a pretty good character. I mean, you see players like Juice coming out here and still getting these results with her, so can never count her out. Oh, okay. Ooh. Sabine, both players feeling the neutral right now, trying to get something started. Yeah, Juice is kind of sitting back right now, trying to rely on side B pressure. Yeah. Ooh, and there there you go. Sinks right into the, all, all the way to the uh, all the way oh, to the. Again. He did it again. The enhanced. No, 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 no. Yeah. Now he's crazy. Now he's crazy. Because that yeah. time he wasn't even up a stock. Oh, okay. Now, now juice is crazy. Gonna have to drink some water as opposed to just juice, my man. Might be too much <laughs> sugar. Water and juice. Oh, and what a good tech off of the. Yo, that was such a good tech off of oh, the. Oh wait, uh, he get it. No, no, he's oh, fine. Okay. He's fine. He's fine. It doesn't work as well. Remember. Now right. it goes up smash. That is a much tinier hitbox than that it used to be. But my man, my man Juice, just working with everything that the good, working with everything that the good Smash gods have given him. Oh, I like that. Um, I think with back air to stuff out the flip kick. Ooh, okay, nice parry. I feel like similar in the last uh, in Smash Four, where if you wanted to punish Nair, like shut up Nair or Bear, you had to perfect shield it. I think in this game, if you want to punish them, you have to parry it. Ooh, reverse up B gonna send him off. He doesn't have float or jump. Oh, that oh, was an overextension. Oh, yeah. Right there. I knew the second he did that forward air, he died. A little too many uh, buttons coming out from Juice. Yeah. He's still in a pretty good position to event. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. Not if you get Peach comboed like this, but the back air wake up to break out. And side B not gonna be able to do it yet. Battlefield is still quite a lofty stage. Down smash by the ledge. No, oh, he's fishing for the bears instead. Trying to end this stock right now, knowing how light of a character Daisy is. Safe on block as well. The CSS's back air, just quite the attack. <laughs> it's interesting just seeing like Ling Ling try to deal with this, like, you know, the spam of this move that's positive on shield and kills, you know. It's just the true testament of a good player is how lucky are you going to be able to intercept something like that, you know. And Ling Ling just doing everything he can to try and work his way around it, positioning himself in a way to make sure he is, uh, that uh, Juice is not in the position to be able to get it. 
It's so rough when you're at such high percents too. This is a pretty bad spot for Juice, but he is using everything he has to be able to find his uh, fight his way through this. But he needs oh, to tack on this damage now, oh, and a oh, stitch oh, yeah, would normally be able to do it. But he caught it. Good stuff to Juice. Dude. And that'll oh, kill. There you go. Juice finally finding that side B kill. There's a grab, yeah, there's back a grab. go, the booty bump. Ooh. Oh, okay. So that second one hit caught the jump. That could have been bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that and call the, out. Oh, smash. The diamond. Wow. And all of a sudden, we have ourselves a totally even game three. Oh. Yeah, but I I feel like Juice still has, like, even though from that up smash, like, gave Ling Ling the kill, I still feel like Juice has all the momentum. And he's playing, like, really fast right now. And Ling Ling's trying to like keep up, but he just can't. You know, it's hard. You know, I mean, Daisy, yeah. like, Daisy is so, her combo game is so much more proficient on the ground. And like ZSS, you know, is just still such a mobile character. So when like a ZSS is proficient as Juice is just to, like dancing all around all over the place, it, it can be hard for like a character like Daisy to be able to get in unless like she's like close enough and knows where she's gonna be. Can't exactly just swing those hitboxes and try and like find your way in because you know, you get hit by something raw off of Juice. Daisy's such a light character and like she's pretty easy oh, to combo oh, that something oh, okay, like okay, that can happen. Okay, all right. And it can start something big. Yeah, no up be there. You would have been able to get out. Juice recognizing the situation. And the back wow. air. This game is dead air. even. Oh, but he does it through the platform right there and gonna get oh, the bear for his troubles. One more. Oh, Yo, oh, you're nuts. My goodness. You're nuts. You're absolutely oh, man. insane, Juice. Oh, wow. And that should, might not do it, actually. Oh, not yet. Oh, man. Really good DI coming out from Ling Ling. More time because of the finishing move, uh, the finishing frame, I mean. The back air not gonna be able to do it from that side of the stage just yet. Juice awfully thirsty for it, going where no ZSS has gone before. Oh, he side beats the wrong way. But it's fine. Ooh, oh, now he's got him off. Side oh, and it's gonna catch him. Should do it. The side B. Wow. I'm pretty sure two out of those three kills were the side B. Got some boys popping off for Juice, and FD is yeah. the ban again. Juice wants absolutely none of those short, uh, those floating, uh, those short hop, float, hop, peach butt combos. I thought it was Daisy butt combos. Now. It's both, all right, you know, they're the same thing. No, Except one of them is better. Yeah, peach. No. Yeah, see, no. he's going back. He's like, uh, yeah, Daisy sucks. I gotta go back. <laughs> see? Uh, he's like, I need my counter pick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Pokemon Stadium, game four. Juice up 2-1 over Ling Ling, in case you're just tuning in. Down tilt, into the uh, forward air. Oh, what the oh, what heck was that? What are you nuts? You're trying to Goomba Stomp the Goomba Stomper? What are you doing? What are you doing at that low of a percent? I mean, hey, he didn't get punished. He didn't get touched for it, oh, so. Oh, another stitch. Oh, but he's got him grounded. Gonna get the up smash. He's looking for a roof combo right there. Not gonna be able to get it. Down right, the back coming air. out, punching VSS in the crotch. <laughs> he is at perfect crotch height to do that. Because he is small enough. All right, uh, back to the game. <laughs> I, I was talking about the game. I know. <laughs> talking about back to the game. Get out of here. Ooh, but the quick oh. grab to the back throw. Barely not killing. That actually would have been a pretty wonky setup right there. Because it's actually very, um, uh, what am I trying to say here? It's very um, uncommon for a ZSS to do something like that. Or at least like for somebody to be prepared for a ZSS oh, to do that. Normally they would expect something amazing, like a forward throw um, or a down throw. Amazing drift coming out from Ling Ling, able to avoid all of Zuch's like counterattack. And another side B right there, able to get his shield up in time, forcing him into it actually. That was his fastest option. Oh my goodness. His down B just put him like, in disadvantage for a I second. I know. How is he not like Oh! oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. Everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. We lost the happy. We lost the happy. We, we lost the bomb control. Yeah. <laughs> bomb squad, where you at? B bomb squad, where you at? Bananas. And oh, this should be a forward throw. Yes, forward throw to get him off stage. I'm trying to go for the crazy side. You mix oh! oh! He trades. That was so smart. He traded with the hitbox, the parasol. But you get spiked, and like uh, Peach gets spiked, and ZSS gets kind of. Lightly tapped upward. Can we talk fine. about how like this man Juice's text were on point? He already lived that. Um, he already lived that fair by literally a percent. I don't know if you saw how close he was to the blast zone. Literally had to go to both corners. Crazy stuff. And then he gets hit by the turn of off stage and like DI's into the stage to make sure he can tech. 
Juice, my man, just saying that game one was a total fluke right now, making a statement against Ling Ling right now, who was just getting stomped on by the Philly uh, fanatic. Yeah, Philly fanatic. I tried to come up with something better, but I, I think wait, I think that's like a sports team. It is. A, it, it is. Yeah. It's the mascot of the Philadelphia Phillies. Yeah, something like that. But that is where Juice is from. So back air, gonna be able to do it. Solid percent lead for Juice right now. Let's see how far he can force this, and let's see what Ling Ling can do to be able to make it back. He hasn't really, you haven't really seen very many, like, you know, peach grounded combos. You know, like, just like that classic stuff. I mean, they're hard to do, don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, but they're like, really hard. You, you know, Ling Ling kind of needs one right now to be able to bring the game back. And Juice just plays such a mobile, <coughs> excuse me, just plays such a mobile character in ZSS. You know, it's, he's just not presenting any situations for Ling Ling to be able to get those. And that's why he can't really do it, you know? It's just he's playing in such a way to make it like to make it so the gimmick of Peach with like that short hop macro thing is just not working out for him. You gotta give credit where credit is due, my friend. And oh, there's a stitch. stitch. Immediately throws it away. Is that like two stitches and one bomb this this game alone? Yeah. No, we had at least one. No, we had the bomb. I don't yeah, know no, we had a bomb. That was a we had a stitch on the previous game. Oh, okay. If I recall correctly. Yeah, Ling Ling just really hasn't, like, since the last game, really hasn't got any, like, solid strings of momentum. Just kind of, like, getting some few hits here and there to keep his percent, like, close, but, like, like never a really solid, like, advantage state. Yeah. Juice is doing a good job at forcing that. Already got do oh, kill him for that. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, Juice, yeah, yeah. you would have been a nutty, nutty lad. <laughs> yeah, Juice definitely eats his nuts. Oh, oh the upbeat! The immediate up after the flip kick, that was amazing. Wow. Immediate up after the flip kick. You know, Koto using the flip kick is a little bit of a bait. Let's take a look at this again. Fares yeah, him off. Goes out. Goes out, flip kicks right back, yeah. and then the flip kick puts him in the immediate position to cover the roll. And I love that. You know, ZSS players, they love to push buttons in those kinds of situations. So when you have an option like that that's going to cover two options, that immediately up B after that. And it's not even an easy input, too, off of that. Because if he does it, the B, if he hits B a little bit earlier, he's going to get the flip kick. And that's not yeah. what he wanted right there. It would have grounded him. You know, I mean, it either would have grounded or would have sent him away since he was like, you know, since he was just rolling on. But either way, it would have hit him. And I don't know if it would have killed or set up a kill situation. But Tunis. And I am just joining Mr. Er Gordon. Er Gordon. Er Gordon. Go! All right, we got another er Palutena. The, the former Gordon Gecko. Yeah, the Gordon Gecko. Right, we got another Palutena in Jen. Um, and we got Jacko rocking Wolf. New Jersey versus uh, NY. Quite literally, New Jersey versus NY, especially considering the recent circumstances. Remember at the beginning, you know, it was all Krom, you know. Now yeah. we got Wolves. Yeah. We got Wolves on deck. Wolf pack out here. With the Wolf pack out here. <laughs> Absolutely. Going up against Jen, one of New York's finest, to say the very least. You know, a uh, consistent Xeno winner in itself. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this guy needs no introduction. Let's just get into the match. Yeah. Well, Jackal, uh, Sonic Mania Smash 4, very, very uh, successful with that. Yeah, absolutely. But now these uh, have switched over to Wolf, a character who's a character who, like, I feel is very, like, well-rounded. It's like a sort of, it's like an all-rounder, but, like, if all the stats were, like, super buffed up. Yeah. Sort of like how Mario was in 4. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, you know, in a little bit in a sense, but, like... But a little bit more extreme, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Actually, yeah, a little bit more of an extreme. But Wolf is a very fundamental heavy character, you know. He's not, like, a masher masher. You can't really just, like, go in and press buttons with him. There's, like, some buttons that are super safe, like back air buttons, you know, like F-smash buttons, that kind of stuff. But the rest of it, some of it is actually pretty calculated, to say the least. Palutena, on the other hand... Palomains only want one thing, and it's pretty disgusting. It's a neutral air. I, I can definitely say I feel disgusting whenever I land that move. Yeah. So you're correct. I feel disgusting whenever I pick Palo on the character selection screen, dude. All right, I anyway. wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd go that far. And here we go. All aboard the airplane. Choo-choo. That, that's a train. Oh, I'm a dumbass. All right. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh okay. Ooh, never mind. making his way back with a strong hit of the side yeah. beat right there. Sometimes it will. just got to let it rip, that side beat. Absolutely. But, I mean, it does put you in a free fall, so, you know, I mean, that's one of the tricky things about Wolf and is arguably, like, the worst thing about the character is that his recovery is kind of, it's kind of sus. Because unlike Fox and Falco's side B, you know, to compare him to the other space animals, uh, Wolf's side B does still put you in a free fall, and Fox and Falco's does not. So, yeah, Wolf has to, like, make sure he's spaced properly by the ledge to be able to do that, make sure he's not too low, make sure they know the angle properly. And Jackal definitely knows that with this character so far. I mean, he picked up Wolf. Relatively recently, it's been about a month or like a couple of weeks, something like that, since he's like been working Wolf into his repertoire along with Pichu, who was, yeah. you know, his, uh, has been his main for quite some time. But Jackal, being the top player that he is, knows all about, like, he's, yeah. uh, knows all about this game, knows how to apply the good traits of this character already, as that dash attack 
actually is going to kill Jen, put him down to his last stock. Yeah, we're, yeah, it wasn't dead even game until that dash attack. We're gonna see Jacko get a nice combo, nice 32. Wolf, I would say Wolf and like at zero doesn't have the same kind of combo game that Palutena does. But obviously, he doesn't have that kind of nair. Mm, actually using the, uh, the shine to get his way down. The move actually is a reflector, that's what a shine yeah. does with the back throw. Gonna be able to take that stock right there, evening this game out yet again. But Jackal is continuing his onslaught, continuing to put on that damage, and continuing to get that lead. About four minutes on the clock, we'll see what Jen is gonna be able to do here. But if there's any character, in my opinion, that can actually like propose Ooh. comebacks. Let's see if Jackal held it just a little bit longer. That would have been the game for him. Yeah. Definitely a big lead for Jackal right here, but you cannot count Jen out because Jen plays a character like Palutena. And Palutena is just, she's such, her comeback factor is huge, in my opinion. Not just yeah. not because of her tools, but because, just because of neutral air. Off of a grab yeah, or just off of anything. I'm serious. If you like able to land a raw neutral air, that's 50 damage from zero, like minimum, if you do the combo completely properly. And that's already a lot yeah. of damage to be able and to bring that back, but it's not going to matter. He's going to be able to get that yeah. back. And if you do it like, um, like Gon does, where he ends it with up air, then you have to land versus her too. And I usually see him get like a couple more hits in before you actually hit the ground. So you're sitting at like 70% almost off of like a grab or a nair at zero. Exactly. It's crazy. Yeah, the character's comeback factor is ridiculous. You can never sleep on Palutena, especially one as proficient as Jen, because that nair plane just comes in and just travels on along the tracks, you know, with the whole carpool. What? And it Planes, just, it tracks, just does carpool. Thing, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, the, the thing. That you know, trains and carpools do, and planes. Game two. Yeah, game two. Moving on. Game two. Oh, Moving we're on. seeing the switch to Fox. Ooh. Okay. Now, my man here has been working on his Fox for quite some time. You know, he just thinks Fox is a very... Uh, Last time I checked, I think he thinks Fox is a really good character. I never actually asked him his uh, actual opinion, but I remember he's been trying to pick up this character for quite some time. One, I think, an encore or two with him. Yeah. Just like solo Fox, which is already impressive enough in its own right, but Fox is just quite the character for the game, uh, quite the character in this game. The, uh, the uh, other contender, along with Wolf, for the best space animal in the game. You know, some people say it's Fox, some people say it's Wolf. No one says it's Falco, and then Falco may that, just cry. Yeah, that definitely hurts my heart. He's so much fun in this game. Yeah, he's definitely a fun character, but, you know, not as proficient as these two, obviously. I mean, Fox, you know, a little bit of a hollow shell of what he used to be, you know? I mean, you can't shield the uh, illusion now, and it does no longer what? go through shields. Yeah, Whoa, you can't mess crazy. around. No, you can't mess around with that move off stage. I'm not at all surprised there, Gordon. Not at all surprised. You go off stage and you mess around with that move, it sends you at such a jank and strong angle completely to the side so quickly, even if he's facing the wrong way. I mean, Wolf mains are going to be doing that if you overextend off the level. They're going to turn their up B in the other direction to make sure you get launched towards the blast zone. You, you don't want to overextend against Wolf off stage. It's, it's just not worth it. He has a spike in his side B. The up B will send you in a crazy direction with a ton of knockback. I like that down smash coming out from Gem, knowing that the side B from Wolf uh, usually doesn't let snap. Like, yeah, the spacing is either really hard or just doesn't exist. Ooh, and that's Ooh. a mix. That's a New York mix if I ever done did see one. All right. <laughs> just a full backwards empty hop, full hop into the up smash. No up airs here. No up airs here. I want you to think I'm going to up air. Oh, silly jackal. Spacies are for New Yorkers. <laughs> Spacey's are for New York. Yeah. Oh, that down smash. The hitbox below it is so big. It's so good for catching, like, recoveries to ledge like that. Yeah, absolutely. And it's really strong, too. Perfect recipe for disaster by the ledge. And here you have Jen. You see him whipping out all these neutral layers, trying to get something started. Fox in, in himself has a nair play. I'm noticing a trend with, uh, with Jen's characters. Yeah. <laughs> they all have nairs that just you do them. They just combo into themselves. You can't blame the young lad for doing that, but anyway. Hey man, it works, it works. Hey man, yeah. work, whatever works, works, whatever man. Whatever pays the bills. You gotta keep the lights on somewhere. Mm -hmm. the Jackal trying to keep the lights on in his house. It's already looking pretty bright right now. Up a full stock over Jen. Jen needs to be able to take this stock now and get a good little schmix combo moving if he wants any chance of being able to bring this game back. You see him doing the falling neutral airs right here, trying to convert that into an up smash as any Fox player is going to fish for in their heyday. But Jackal Ooh, nice just not giving it to him. He's shielding it just the right time to make sure. He's like shielding it all the right situations to make sure like, okay, like I'm going to shield, you know, avoid the neutral air here. But then he drops his shield whenever he thinks oh. that Jen is going to fall down and just empty hop grab. That was crazy. You know? Wolves sometimes like to do up on stage like that as a mix-up. And if you're not ready for it, it can kill you. Absolutely. But Jen fell out and was able to tech it. Yeah, it's sort of like PK Thunder if you would. Like it just doesn't travel too much of a distance, but like it kills crazy early. It's such a strong attack. And back though? No, he's just the not enough percent yet, according to him. He's going to forward throw instead just to get that damage. 
potentially mix up the DI. Ooh, falling there, which is barely not doing it. And now he has Jen off stage, but a down air. Mm, no, he tried to hit him with the get up attack instead, but the, just he's going to get his stage presence back in order and just walk away to the spot he has to go to. Space the F tilt properly and get that game. That's game two going to uh, Jackal up 2 0 over GM. Hmm. Um, but I think he did better with Palutena, so I'm going to suspect he's going to go back. Oh no, he's sticking with Fox. Sticking with the tried and true. I mean, not the tried and true, but with his counter, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I got it. But, oh, you know what I'm talking about. Three, two, PS2, one, once again. Go. Africa's very own Jackal. <laughs> Blessing the reins all over House of 3000. <laughs> Devin wants so bad to not laugh at that, and he's not. He's trying his best, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Devin giving us the, the warm hey New man, Yorker don't be, welcome. Don't be salty, man. Toto's dope. Anyway. All right, Jen actually with a little bit of a lead here in percent. Now, right now, we're going to see... Ooh, that's a good way. Dash attack into the forward air. A classic combo right there. And getting the dash attack off of the get up as well. To try and keep him off stage. Oh, I, I, I like how he read the double jump back on the stage. Now put him in disadvantage. And he killed him for it. Ooh. That's why you got to... Sometimes, especially with characters like Fox and... Well, maybe let's wolf and more fox. Like you gotta call, you gotta call people out. Like you have the tools to be fast and be wherever you want to be. So you gotta call people out. Absolutely. Just another one of the amazing things that Fox as a character has under his repertoire. Just such a quintessential Smash Brothers character. If yeah. you, would. you know, he just has everything like a platform fighter character really needs. It all just matters on if the player is going to be able to take advantage of the right things in the right situation. And that's one of the key differences of a good Fox player versus a bad one. Ooh, that even though he's able to air dodge in there, like. It almost uh, frame trapped him. Well, I mean, he did. He landed and still got hit by it. Oh. oh, good grab to catch the approach right there. That's not something you see very many low-level players do. He's trying to catch oh, him with the goodness. up smash. He's going to do one of his own, barely not killing. Dash tag, wake up. I thought he was going to down smash right there, but I like that. I think he realized that Jen was probably going to expect a down smash there, so he instead decided to wait and bait uh, and bait a neutral get up off of his own timing because I think he was trying to bait him into thinking he was going to down smash and instead elected to space a forward uh, a forward tilt properly, knowing that he conditioned him to do that specific option. I actually really like that uh, F tilt coming out from uh, coming yeah. out from Jackal right there. It was definitely like a lot, well, like one of our safer kill options at the moment. Yeah, just so many other wolf players would have just down smashed there yeah. and be like, oh, I hope this hits. Yeah. And, you know, just no. Like, Jackal a little too good for that at this stage of the game. He thinks ahead of that. Yeah, just oh, shooting the gun yeah. just one too many times. Yeah. Jackal actually shaking his head on that one. He knows he messed up. Yeah, the second laser he shot was definitely like uh, not beneficial, but he, got, he died for it. Looking for the back air. Wants to close out this stock right now. Jackal does if he wants to even this game out. And there's the up smash. Wake up! Not going to be able to kill, actually. Good DI coming out from Jen. Either that or the move just wasn't going to kill. But that second one is definitely going to do it. 140%. No way you are living that. The wolf hunts the fox, my friend. <laughs> yeah, we got a basically dead even game after this combo. Yep. Yeah. Jackal already with the lead. Able to force his advantage onto the stock with that quick little three-piece right there. But now we have Mario combos. Yeah, uh, yeah up tilt. Or up Smash tilt. 4 Mario combos. He doesn't do that as often as he used to. But, you know, Fox never stopped. Ooh, I thought that was going to be a raw bear right there, but instead he tried to hit him with the up air. Potentially fall down, get an up smash, you know, mix him for it. They do that over in New York. Yeah, that's, from what I hear, they definitely schmix people. They de from, from what I heard last about New York, they definitely schmix people, and Jen is definitely trying to do that so he can close out this stock and stay in the winner's bracket against Jackal. I like, well, like Jackal what you mentioned earlier, about that. Like, any wolf player probably would have charged down smash to read the side B, but Jackal waited to see what Jen would do, and Jen went for the high side B, so he was able to react and punish to that. Not just that, I think he baited him to do it as yeah. well, you know, because I think he knows that, like, you know, wolves love to down smash there. Oh, Ooh, and the raw one! The call out! You just called him out. Yeah. I was wrong. You're going to be right here exactly when I want you yeah, to. You're gonna and press this is going to put me into winner's finals against the Great Gonzalez. Yeah. Here we go. Jackal's like, you want to press a button right here. Yeah. Wow. He tried to press a button. Yeah. You know, he's just like, you know, you like the green button. I think you're going to press it right here. Let's I take a look at this I again. I think he might have rolled. 
No, he did a he did a neutral getup, and then he just went in. He held shield oh, and then he just rolled. dropped him. See, look, he rolled behind him after the. Oh, I thought you meant rolled from ledge. Yeah, look at that. Wow, yeah. that move's crazy. Yeah, it just it stays out for such a long time. Caught him during those uh, brief moments without the iframes. Oh, when you said rolled, I thought you meant rolled from ledge. Oh no, that, no that's no. why I got confused. I apologize. But wow, that was what, such a hard call out coming out from uh, coming yeah. out from Jackal right there, and it was risky too because if that didn't work, that was an up smash from Jen. Yeah, I just, yeah. Earlier in the set, Jen was able to punish Wolf up smash with an up smash of his own. Mayhaps the young lad Jude thought I'm up two games. It's worth the risk. This. Straight out to PS2, here we go. Oh. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, and we start off... Uh, Major neutral. Ooh, Gons with the uh, down throw up there. Strings yeah. early. Yeah, he's really good at that. Yeah. I feel like most would just opt for the Nair strings, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, and just chasing after... Phantom chasing after Gons with those Nair strings. It's like, you're going to get hit with this eventually. Whether it's for like 3% or the full thing. Yeah. Phantom not letting Gons off this ledge. Uh, finally he gets off. Nares his way out. Now back to the center stage neutral. Yep. Yeah. Like, just sort of feeling each other out right now, dash dancing. Not really committing to anything hard. Yeah. I feel like that's the Palumira in general. You don't want to commit. Yeah, you really don't. And it's not really, not really that you don't want to, it's that really can't because a lot of her like committal stuff like just isn't worth it a lot other than like maybe a smash attack reach like you're really not gonna throw out her tilt to neutral like you know what i mean she's gonna space with fair back air dash dance yeah. mix and grabs pressure. yeah nair pressure i just feel like because of the way her nair works that like even in the ditto it's kind of just like all right oh, oh goodness, goodness. Oh, back there, and that's gonna seal it. Misses the down air and gets punished for his troubles. Yeah. So Gons takes an early lead, 97%. I yeah. feel like for middleweight characters like Palu, or on the lighter side, like this percent is kind of perfect to start off. You get a lot of easy percent. It's hard to kill because your opponent doesn't have rage. Ooh, that's that's an interesting uh, way to get out of that. The fact that um he just teleported the other side of the stadium and the other Palutena couldn't like actually hit him. Yeah, probably the ledge cancel, uh, edge cancel on the platform. No, he just landed. And oh, no he shield. just landed. It doesn't have her teleport on like when you land doesn't have a lot of lag. Ah, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> I personally don't like this matchup simply because like my character's so big, I can't help but not get hit with this. Yeah. No matter what I do, oh my lord. The nair train never stop. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, get used to it. I, we had to see this look again. Uh, Jen versus in. Frozen oh. earlier, and now we're getting a run back here. Oh, Tri State has too many Palutena's. I say that as a Palutena player. I mean, but at least you played her at four. But yeah. Nah, it's not even about that. There's just too many. True. Nice explosive flame, forcing jumps. I feel like that's the thing. I feel like Gons wants to uh, force jumps and then try to get close enough for a reverse back air punish on landings. Yeah. Nera, nice jump there. Nah. Oh, what's gonna be the offstage punish? Ooh, fair. Oh, no punish on the explosive flame. Felt like it was just off it. Ooh, oh, parry, but scary. nothing. Parry into nothing. Felt like he didn't come in. Oh, that's oh. really smart. Yeah, that up smash. The last, the like, almost like the end hitbox yeah, was just enough it, to catch the getup. It lasts forever. So it's very good for catching jump and neutral getup. No longer getup attack because those are fully invincible. Now, how's Phantom gonna get out of this corner? Yeah. Managed to get out now. If he could dance, ooh, that, that might Tom be. Yeah. yeah. Even, wow, this is pretty even uh, going into a. Uh, going into final stock yeah. simulation. Phantom taking a slight lead with his uh, great less trapping. Oh, misses the grab, and that's gonna open up Gons yeah. to get these combos. Yeah, and he even it right back up. Yeah, the, the and good he's thing. still going because he, he uses air dodge. Yeah, that's a. Like, Gons is like, super good with that combo. And it's very good because it sends you, like, the it ends with you being above Palutena. Yeah. And I feel like that's where she's most threatening, where she can threaten you with another Nair, another up air, or back air. Yeah, and just not letting Phantom get back on stage to reset his jumps. Oh, did the Nair too early now. Yeah. All right, now it's Phantom's turn to uh, trap this man. He lands, so he yeah. still got the jump. Oh, Nair, I was expecting an up air, but... All right, it's not too bad, not too bad. Back to the center stage. Ooh! Ooh. The actually, wind hitbox yeah, actually... The Made it safe. Oh. 
Oh, Vanna oh, messed yeah. up his recovery. He knows it. Yeah, he knows. Uh, palm on face. The instant classic when you know you messed up your execution. Mm. No, stage man probably don't matter that much. Just honestly, just personal preference. Yeah. At this point, I feel like as long as like they're just gonna keep repeating PS2. Yeah. It's either that or someone has a preference for Smashville. <laughs> as I say that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I like to stage a lot as Palatina. Yeah. It's it very good to... Um, she, just, she just has, like, like one string, you're, like, already off stage. Yeah. That and it's just very easy to dance around that middle platform. Yeah. The middle platform is great for, like, being able to ledge cancel stuff. Yeah. Three, two, one, Whereas where other characters would struggle trying to approach because that middle platform is just, like, a nuisance in landings, I feel like Palo doesn't have that issue. So in the neutral in the mirror, it's basically going to be like whoever gets the first neutral hit is going to dictate the pace of that set of that stock, and then it just resets. So right now, 69%, 82 real quick, and Phantom has not landed on stage. Back to the edge. All right, finally he lands on stage for once. Ah, uh, uh, this is the grab against a forward air. It really looks like Gonzalez knows how to like maximize the damage he gets per his hits. Yeah, that's that's something. Whereas gone. Phantom, yeah, whereas Phantom is really like he's getting he's getting stuff, but he isn't maximizing. Yeah, yeah. Gonz has always had an amazing punish game, even if not forward his neck. Yeah, Gon it's seems to also have the timing down for catching the teleport with a neutral air. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Can't be, can't be whiffing like that in front of a, a yeah. player of Gonza's caliber. He's just going to grab you and uh, chuck you off for that stuff. Yeah. Now, Palo's Nair really isn't like an approach option. It's more of a get off me and just yeah, pressure get off. tool. And like if you see they already committed to something and like, oh, my button's going to beat your button. Yeah. I just Nair and I can start a combo. <laughs> oh, Ooh, okay. he, man, he went for a hard read. Yeah. Personally, I would have preferred just something safer and guaranteed. But, I mean, sometimes you got to make the big plays to try to get back on, st uh, back in this game. Because he cannot exactly. be taking, he can't be taking any more percent. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And Gon's just like. He kind of just drifted into it. Like, I'm just going to land it back air. Yeah, he like, that's, a, that's a pretty bad habit for Palatina. Like, yeah, they keep thinking, oh, my shield is in, uh, it's yeah. invincible. I, I can beat out anything. And then you just get smacked in the face. Yeah. And See, that's the difference between ending a combo like with Gon does with up air and, and ending with fair. Like, yeah, he only got 40, he only got 45 and didn't really put him. He put him at the ledge, but then he got off of the ledge. Yeah. Like, Gon's going to put you in the air and then put you on the ledge. You know what I mean? Yeah, he would have he would have uh, forced your resources out earlier. Exactly. I think that's the main difference between uh, Gons and Phantom right now. Like Phantom has to expend more resources. He has to expend his air dodges, his second jump. Or, ooh, ooh, what a walk of three! If there's one thing that Phantom is doing that's keeping in this game, he's getting these very uh, big boy reads. It's just yeah. these aggressive reads that's just calling out Gonzalez. It's his options. Oh, nice drift around the... Whereas Gonzalez is going, is going the slow and steady route. He's like, oh, he went up to avoid that. Yeah. Oh, misses oh, the down man. till the... You can't really commit to something hard there just when you're a back throw kill percent. Yeah. It just feels... At that point, he's like, he had the lead where he got it, and he's like, all right, should be good. Ooh, Gon's trying to bait something out, but... Yeah. Uh, I feel like Phantom finally learned not to expend any of his resources. He just uses DI drift to get out of combos. Yeah. He was doing that too to get around explosive flames. Ooh, okay, he's, nah, he's yeah. All right, now what's the get up? Oh, oh, I thought he was gonna nair again. I, like, I would have done it, seeing as Gonzalez's shield was going down. Yeah, he might have shield poked. Yeah, even if it doesn't shield poke, I would have just been like, all right, force this man to keep doing something and just see like, all right, now it's your turn. You have no shield. How are you going to uh, handle this oh, pressure? Like and looks like Phantom is uh, definitely getting the uh, the better end of these neutral exchanges. Nice back oh, air, tried yeah. to trade, and yep. Trade. Definitely feel like that fair kind of messed up uh, the beginning of his DAI. So he wasn't able to uh, survive that where he probably could have. It was just a trade hit. Yeah, I see what you mean. Banning Battlefield, interesting. Oh, <laughs> I was like, Port Arrow Town Drive? Uh.
Yeah, best of five. <laughs> yeah, cool. Because like Phantom's like awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're in they're in semis. This is top eight. Alright. What the after heck? Alright, after this match. Alright, sorry about that folks. Alright, so we as we get into it, uh again. Auto they, radicals. They, I feel like in Smash 4 that auto radical thing happened, but with back air. <laughs> like you would both just short hop in place in back air, and then nothing would happen. You ain't trying to commit. That's the name of the game. Yeah, that's especially not in this mirror. Yeah, honestly, this mirror can, yeah. A lot of mirrors go very one-sided because you both have the exact same tool, so it's basically just an in, uh, initial timings. Nice anti-air with the up, uh, up tilt. All right, back air sends him across the stage. Auto Ooh, radical again, like another that. back air. I like that jump in from Gun. Oh, he tries to uh, air dodge his way to the edge. I love those explosive flames because they, and back uh, Phantom's forced to drift out, and then Gon's is able to like force him to go low because of that, and then he, he makes can time it. Yeah, it makes it more to, linear to punish. Yeah, his he can get up. He can time the nair to uh, beat that out. And pop aboard the nair train. Yeah, Forty-eight so percent. Now we keep going. Yeah, uh, Gon's just does so much more damage per opening. Like, this all started because he got like a Nair combo starter at zero. Yeah. And it's still not ending. Gon is in complete control this stock. Oh, oh good mix up though. He definitely was expecting him yeah. more to go for a, a ledge cancel on that uh, platform. So going up really threw him off. Oh, How okay. hard is Reed? Phantom is just like, you're going to drop shield or rocker. Yeah, Phantom definitely like wanted to pull the trigger more. Uh, like earlier than Gons, but like yeah, nah, you can't. Yeah, sooner or later, Gons will, will catch up to you. Yeah. Uh, it looked like last game. Yeah, like except that, this new game, yeah. new Gons. Yeah, new game. Can't land without it. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't uh, do the same thing to Gons when he's Bro. in new Gons plus. Gons, <laughs> new Gons plus. I love it. <laughs> oh, the grab. Thought he was gonna go for a back here, but I guess he doesn't want to steal it. Yeah, it's actually really smart not to sell back air at that point. Forward air. Yeah, now he's gonna like try fishing for it. Now that, now that he's over 100, now he's gonna try fishing for the back air. Nice air dodge. Back throw. He should be fine. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Careful though. Uh, barely misses. Uh, if he had gotten that, it would have been a good spark of life. Yeah. I, I respect going for it. What? Oh, okay. Oh, he's fine. Oh, no. Yeah, he's uh, still he, fine. You okay? Yeah, there's some. Sometimes the hitboxes don't connect, and like the little small ones send you sideways for some reason. Yeah, yeah it's just probably a weird hitbox interaction with the explosive flame. Yeah, Phantom really is desperate to try anything. Oh my goodness, how did that not kill Don? Probably not far enough off the edge. And that's gonna do it. Three stock, and ooh. Felt like Gons was about to get up, and then he remembered, oh, snap, best of, best of five. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so Battlefield ban again. I'm guessing he's doing it just to cut off Phantom's uh, recovery options. And going back to Smashville. Yeah, going back. Yeah. Because really, like, what are Phantom's options? He can't go to FD because that makes it even less likely for him to land, and he's already having trouble yeah, landing like against Gons. Yeah, exactly. PS1, PS2 is the same thing, and Town and City, I don't know if he's comfortable uh, with the uh, removal. Well, it's kind of the same thing, because it becomes FD. Yeah, at some point. It's at some point. And Paladina really doesn't have too much problem covering those platforms. He can definitely, like, double jump up air to, like, yeah. safely pressure from below. Right, it looks like Phantom is uh, hitting a new gear, as he's not taking a single hit this entire first stock, and... Oh, missed oh, the, the cross-up. Yeah, the very this. baby cross-up. He thought he was right on the edge, but... No, you still get those awkward cross-ups. Ah, nice fast fall back here. Auto to force him off of there. Oh, good punish with the fair. Landing back here. Forces that jump. Oh, Ooh, weird nice. auto reticle from Gon. Not really a movie you see to get used to get out of the corner. Ooh, yeah. great up tilt. Low profiling in that forward air out of shield from Gon. Yeah, and it keeps him high in the air so he can chase after him. Yeah. Ooh, Dash Attack's going to do it. And I feel like he wasn't ready to DI that. Yeah, I, I always felt like Palutena's up tilt was an underrated move in Smash 4. And I still 
think that too. There are probably some situations where you might like throw the back air and they already air dodged up or something. Yeah. And then you can just up tilt their landing and then reset the situation. I feel like it's the the thought process is more of a why do it when you can just nair out a shield. Yeah. For better results. Oh <laughs> wow. He didn't even let the nair finish and he just immediately challenged it. Nice yeah, up see, like right there, yeah. up tilt was like the only thing that would have hit it, hit his landing. And we got an even game. Yeah, only 20% on gone, so there's not a lot of a. Uh... Eh, he's caught back up, and he's gonna take the lead. And he's gonna do that up there, and another one. Yeah. Uh, this time, um, Phantom able to land this time, not taking too much percent from, uh, from after Gon's combo. Oh, okay. I guess that's the game we're gonna play today. Yeah, we're, we're just playing. We're gonna. Oh, uh, Nair boys. Get on board the Ooh. Nair train. Ooh. Nice wait on the spot dodge to punish with the fair. Down throw fair. Mm. Barely misses it. Oh, oh he, he, drifted, he drifted way too far to the right. You got to believe on those hits sometimes. Oh, he won. They both went for dash attack. Gons was a little quicker on the trigger. Grab. Wait for the spot air dodge. Gets the Nair. I definitely feel like Gons does not want to like waste too much time. Oh, back air uh, dash attack trade. Yeah, I think neither, um, play, neither player are worse for wear. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's, yeah, that's super risky. That, that's that's, a, that's very, a hard commit. He's like, yeah. you're going to not shield this. And honestly, the reward wouldn't be worth it. Gons would not have died at 110 from a dash attack. Yeah. I feel like definitely like. Both these players are great, but Gon's is edging out simply in just assessing risk reward. You don't yeah. really see a lot of risky options from Gon's. Whereas Phantom feels like he needs to play more aggressive and more uh, out there to get those kills. A nice back air. Yeah, catching normal get up. Yeah. Now we're on a last stock situation. This could be Phantom's uh, last stock in the winner's bracket. Ah, oh, he let go shield early. Hate to see that happen. There, train. Hope you got your Metro card. He gets out of it. All right. Back throw. Oh, Gon's kind of like, like he made it out of that situation. But oh like my goodness. The win box basically like saved him from not getting punished by a back air. Yeah. All right. Nice anti-air up, up tilt. Yeah, yeah. More Palazines should do that more often when it they know good. when they know they've already exhausted their uh, opponent's options. Yeah, and like Nair's not gonna work right now. I gotta up tilt to catch their landing above me. Yo, Phantom finding a way through those projectiles, able to land a clean hit. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my what God. is this? Should have grabbed. Windbox shenanigans. Should have grabbed this man. Oh! Yo, if he let it go. Bro, bro. If he let it go a second earlier, Gon yeah, was dead. Yeah, Gon would have ran into it. Or jumped into it. He would have gotten clipped by the underneath. Nice. Oh, get nice. up attack. Back throw. Tom Hong back throw. Too far off. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he was slightly in Oh, yeah. yeah. He read it. He's not going to kill yet. Guns is like. And the last hit is not. Oh, oh my lord. I th that was a super close set. Yeah, but Guns is like the master, like, baiting you to roll into his grab range for the, um, for like the back throw. All right, and I'm gonna have to uh, go off onto my redemption bracket match. Okay. So, uh, ho hopefully we got another commentator. Yeah. And we got uh, Phantom, the artist, formerly known as Aerial Ace. Ari Two, that's Aerial Ace. One, yeah. Go! For real? Yeah. I know he looks familiar, but yeah, he changed his tag. Okay. Yeah. I like Phantom. Yeah, <laughs> Rooney in the losers top six. Yeah, you know what Phantom also likes results. I believe he finished top two. At the recent Forge yes, monthly. Yes, he did. He got second only to Leon. Mm -hmm. I mean, Leon is just snatched. <gasps> oh, you're dead. Yeah, body, 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 body. Yeah, you're going to want to do this to the left. Should be stuck? No, actually not, not quite. Yet. Yeah. I wonder why he didn't hold it a little bit longer. Well, I mean, he, he, he kind of messed up. He, um, well, actually, no. Wait, what am I talking about? Never mind. I think that was Max. Never mind. All right, whatever. Nonetheless, Pokemon I mean, State, nonetheless, yeah. 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 He didn't get the stock, but I mean, it's a significant lead right now. He's looking good. Yeah, it's already great damage. Yeah. 
That's all you need, my man. That's I mean, all you need. Especially with damage. Lucina. Lucina, she touched. I mean, she hits you like a truck. Yeah, her back air is still DLC. Yeah, that joint is, is great. Yeah, a wonderful attack. Yes. But, but how juice. do you get back to the sta stage, Juice? Uh, you just fail. Pretty much, yeah. That's what you do. You know, ZSS, you know, a little bit of a hollow shell of what she used to be, but this character uh -huh. still has a lot of her solid essence. Yeah. She is still incredibly mobile. Side B is safe on block in most situations. Mm -hmm. Back air is still safe on block in like every situation. So, you know, you're going to see him fishing for that around Ooh, kill percent. Buddy, he's buddy, he's buddy, been buddy, doing buddy, that buddy, all buddy. day. Yep. He's been doing that all day to everybody, and he's been hitting them consistently. Yeah, with that, you kind of want to go high, man, because Juice, if Juice forces you to go low without a jump or something out there, like, you might as well just say bye bye to that stock. Just like that. You see, uh, Phantom was in the lead in the beginning of that in the beginning of this game. And now down to full stock. Juice putting on some more damage. That fair gonna come out. Not gonna kill yet though. How do you get back to the stage? Just roll. You roll. You roll. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes you gotta mix it up, you know. You just gotta like gotta, what did you have like for breakfast? I don't roll. I don't hoagie roll. That's what was the inspiration for doing that, is that up tilt is gonna okay. be able to take the stock, even this game out just a little bit, but the percent lead is still solidly in Juice's favor. Yes, I mean if you have a good up tilt, like uh, that's definitely a great uh, tool to have in this matchup again. <gasps> Another one! Nah, not going to be able to do it just yet. A little more percent was required. Definitely a good tool to have in this matchup against Zero Suit because uh, obviously, Zero Suit loves to jump. Zero Suit Aerials, one of the best in the game. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, the, the ladder combos don't work as efficiently or like in most some situations, especially off of a grab, which is why you see many ZSS players now at percents around here, uh, elect to forward air and trying to set up for like a potential back air kill yes. off of wrong DI. And then eventually when their D, uh, percent is high enough, they go for the up throw to kill. Mm -hmm. And that's such a good mix-up because you see with ZSS, ZSS is kind of like Cloud where, where she wants to land on your shield with her aerials. Um, in situations like that where you want to parry it, that side B comes out and you're dead. Like you're, you're eating a sock. So um, definitely a good tool for ZSS to have uh, to mix it up a little bit. And oh my gosh, are yeah. you ever going to air dodge that? <laughs> a little bit earlier that time. I mean, you know. I don't think he is. I don't think he wants to. Yeah, it seems like every single one that Juice wanted to throw out, every single side B Juice th has thrown out, he's hit him with it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he, he hasn't exactly adapted to that situation yet, but this is just the first game, you know. I mean, Juice would probably be going for that kind of stuff in the second game unless he adapts yes. himself, you know. But, like, that's it's going to be on Phantom if he's going to be able to find a way to work around that, which so far he hasn't already. But I doubt he's going to be getting hit by too many more of those in this yeah. game. And At it, least it, in that same situation. Oh and never gosh, mind. The exact same situation happens. But worth. Absolutely worth it. Are you sure? Absolutely. I mean... Worth. Actually, yeah, now it was worth. I would say I say worth because I'm not mad at the attempt. Oh, I definitely a good attempt. So I guess worth worth wasn't the right uh, wasn't the right. I don't, I don't, word think, to I don't use. think so at all because he yeah. even the stocks out. Yeah, tisk tisk. But what? I, okay, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Is but it? Looking at it, I'm like I would I would have went for the same thing. Yeah, no, 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 no. You, you, you got, know what you, I mean? You, you, you he's deep in the blast one. That was great di. No, 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 no. You got you got body. Absolutely great idea. Yeah. Listen, David. Right, I mean, listen up? in to this. What's up? You can, you can call me, Dave. You can tell your you know 5,275 uh, subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> your, your stagnant 5,274 <laughs> followers. <laughs> no more, no less. Oh. But okay, he's out to stick to the Lucina. Not mad at that as well. Battlefield I mean, is it the wasn't, pick. Uh, it wasn't a crazy, like, one-sided match. It just seemed like Juice capitalized on more disadvantaged situations than Phantom did. Yeah. I think the neutral was played pretty well, pretty evenly. But um, as far as securing stocks, uh, Juice was able to do it at a more efficient rate. Absolutely. I don't think I even really saw Juice going for many, like, forward smashes or anything like that. Like, he was really not doing very many committal options at all. And, uh -huh. you know, normally, you know, like, when you're, you're at earlier percents, that's good. You don't want to be doing committal stuff when it's not going to work. But you got to go for it eventually if you want to try and close out a stock. And so yeah. far, we weren't we weren't really seeing too many of the, those coming out from Phantom. Nor the Palutena, either. I don't know if he's switching to Lucina or if he just likes this matchup more. Is that back air is going to be able to do the stock? Yeah, that back air deleted him just now. That was pretty bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty bad. That move is incredibly strong. Yeah. You know, covers so all bases good. of the sword, you know. So good. Lucina absolutely better than Marth in this game. Yeah, it's sad. Because Marth has so much potential. But Lucina just really good. I mean, I think Marth is still good, too. So, yeah. just all the swords. Wonderful. Ah, uh, no jump. 
She assessed, though, has a sword in herself, in her back hair, and her forward smash, then legs. There you go. Then Give legs or swords. Thick. <laughs> CSS looking thick <laughs> with that uh, uh, forward smash just now. Absolutely, yeah. Those uh, You don't want to mess around with those heels. A great grab. Okay. Doing a great job of keeping Juice off the stage, keeping him at the edge. But this is uh, going to bring him right to the left side. Okay, and now they're just trading blows, kind of brawling right now. Yeah, I think he's trying to – I think he's still, like, sticking to Lucina on this stage as his counter pick because I think he's trying to cover, like, more of Juice's landings. Because I think he recognizes that Juice's aerial game is just so strong. And that regardless of how, like, much range Lucina has as a sword fighter, you know, yeah. he's not able to keep up with that because Juice just does it too well. And I think he went to Battlefield because, you know, landing on the stage is actually not as easy as, like, many low-level players think exactly. it would be. Exactly. The platforms actually make it worse because it makes it more obvious where you're going to land. And you see him actually using moves like forward air and neutral air to try and cover platforms. Yep. And it's already working out pretty well for him because he is still up in the uh, – he's up in percent on this stock right now. And he is winning this uh, second game as opposed to the last game where uh, Juice was pretty solid on uh, the whole thing right there. Pretty solid on the whole W as that up tilt is going to be able to take the stock right there despite Battlefield's high blur uh, vertical blast zones. Yep. It looks like this counter pick is honestly working out pretty well for him. Okay. Juice getting a full hop out of that uh, out of that nair instead of a short hop. He might have been able to secure a stock there. I think uh, I think Phantom actually DI'd in. Mm. And like the spacing on the, I think okay. he got the weird hitbox on the nair to the point where like it was uh, launched him a little closer. So I don't think it actually would have worked there. If he got the stronger hit, I think he would have. But I could yeah. be wrong. All right, up tilting with the anti air right there. This is exactly what uh, this is exactly what Phantom needs right there. He's trying to slow the game down to his pace right yes. now, so he can slowly but surely tack on that damage exactly. and just not get exploded on. And that's exactly Juice loves to explode on people. Yes, exactly, and that's exactly what I was gonna say. Uh, even ZSS in general, ZSS is going to throw out buttons. You know what's going to happen. ZSS isn't a campy style character. No. She kind of builds a, a moving wall towards you. So if you can stay patient and kind of just stuff out her options and uh, um, play that type of game, um, you can definitely find some openings. She fights, man. She's a fighter. Yep. Because, I mean, ZSS, Ariel's great. But she has to do them coming down. So if you can read a jump, you can stuff out her areas. Yeah. It's similar to Ike. And I think that's why he's sticking with Lucina here as well as opposed to going with his pal Tana. It's like, yeah. you know, this character has a big long sword that I can do that with and stuff it out easier, which is like an up tilt or something. Nice mix up with that uh, dancing blade. Nice mix, my guy. Yeah, the mix. Okay. Oh, God, don't die yeah, here. Yeah, that is scary. You've, you've worked really hard to get to the point that you are right now. So if you... uh. Uh, squander it right now with that again hit by an air. Oh, oh but here we go. He's waiting. Oh, you know, the mistiming and the you know, misspacing just a little bit off of the berry right you there. You know what it was? He actually tried to fall through the plat. You're dead? No, don't Maybe. die. Please don't die. Oh, barely, Ooh, okay. barely, 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 barely. Okay, how do we make it back safely? Yeah, how do we win this game? My name is Phantom. How do I win this game right now? You Yikes. don't, unfortunately. And I think he recognized that his DI was a little sus right there anyway. Slapping yeah. his knee. Not happy about how that game went at all. And final destination is the ban once again. Juice going up 2-0 over Phantom. Yeah. I don't, that, that ban is, uh, I like it. I like it. Because Juice, uh, as you, you may not have noticed it, but out of disadvantage, Juice is using uh, downbeat. With the platforms, it gives uh, with platforms it gives Juice the opportunity to land on a platform, kind of mix it up, go through the platform. At F at FD, once he uses side B, he doesn't have much mix except for down air. You see some wonky stuff with that move, my friend. I've seen it cover get up roll from ledge. Yeah, it's nuts. Game three, running it right back to battlefield. Phantom. Still pretty comfortable in his pick. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's, Absolutely. I think he realizes. I'm not mad like, at that either. Yeah, I, I'm not. You know, you got to be, sometimes you just got to be confident in your play. You know, he said, like, you know, I, whatever. I barely lost that game. My strategy was working for the most part. I just slipped up a little bit, like, in one or two spots, spots during that game, which made me lose it. That, that was, was the first a forward body smash. bag session. That was the first forward smash I've seen him do all set. He did one before okay. in a really good position, but hey, he hasn't been throwing them out. You're absolutely right. All right I, I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, catch me a collision. <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah. But that forward smash was meaty. Only 6%. Oh! My you, guy. You turned. It was Nair My guy. Nair, I Nair down beat. He got exploded My on. Nair down beat. He got exploded on. You know, just the classic juice right there. And all of a sudden, the game is even once again. Uh huh. Just setting up those situations with the uh, with the uh, down B right there. 
Juice is just so proficient And I mean, it's that. so scary because you reach a point where you think you're in the lead against CSS. You think you got you a little bit of groove, and it's like she lands the snare at the edge of the stage, and you're going to the blast zone. Escortation through these stilettos. Yeah, you can't even say that at the beginning, Dominant. <laughs> you can't even say that. There's no such thing as a lead against CSS. More so in this game, though, because she can't roof use consistently. Yeah. So there is not, sort of such a so thing as a lead. Grab. You're not afraid of grab as yeah. much as you were. You put Z in Smash 4, you put CSS at 150%. And you you're get still losing. And you're about to get deleted. Yeah, you're, you're losing. <laughs> Just put your controller down. Yeah, but this is ultimate, my friend. And speaking of juggles, it looks like Juice is actually doing it much better than Phantom was, which I think is why he got this oh, pick you anyway. Dead? Smash 4, baby! Woo! You are absolutely dead. Let us take a trip back to Smash 4. Enter my hyperbolic time chamber machine, uh, time machine, and we're, you're going to get escorted, my guy. Take this up, B. We have to go back, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go back. <laughs> Back to 2014. Again. He clipped his jump. Oh, okay. The back that, air going to be able to do it. Phantom down, but not out. That air dodge saved his life just now. Yeah, it saved my man's life. Ooh. That juice right there. I actually think he thought he was playing Smash 4 for a second. He went for a grab, like a, like a pivot grab. With yeah. CSS, bro. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it not, it's, it, not, it's not actually 2014, man. Don't do it. I think it's much shorter in this game. It is. Uh, her grab is her grab has much less range. Yeah, and than it, does, it, used it to. doesn't look as good. But I mean, ZSS is still. I think ZSS is still a really yeah. good character. Less range, she gets less off of it. But ZSS's mobility is still there. She still yeah. has the nair to the downbeat setups. You know, she still has just different types of setups off of grabs. You know, and it's not exactly her main game, but her buttons are still there. Is the thing, such Yo. as the side B button, which is not going to do it just yet because it's battlefield. But instead, uh -huh. Juice, ever the aggressor, ran off stage and tried to do it yet again. My man's out. Yo, my man's parry the platypus. Okay. okay. So you, op I guess, in this matchup, you open. Oh, yeah, you're dead. that's game. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. People don't notice in this game. If you roll onto the stage, your invincibility runs out extremely fast. Like it is not as long as like you can probably see it here. Oh, I thought we were gonna see that. Nah, okay, the, the, re the replay froze for a second. Here we yeah. go. Like you can see it if we, if we do the slow mo, you can almost see where his uh, invincibility runs out. It actually ran out before he got um, behind Juice. Yeah, take so, a look. So it was pretty bad. Got the frame. I by lift frame. this. Yep, J right there. Wow. Right when he got hit is when the invincibility ran out. Wow. And he still had like wow. another roll in his animation. So uh, you can pre you can punish uh, ledge roll in this game. That's invincibility. But that is such a good like tool. Uh, I'm pretty sure they probably would have fixed that in Smash 4 if it what, if it had uh, a longer lifespan. But, um, but just, they're just jumping into this. Yeah. I don't think there's a button check. Yeah, it's time to take the train. The Nair train. I think it is a button check. Choo choo! Is it a button check? Nope. No. It is absolutely live. They do. They were just playing the neutral. All <laughs> aboard the Nair plane. Yep. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> yep. Destination. I, 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 you uh, get, you get it. I, I, I did a plane and then I made a car noise. That was, that was horrible, actually. Nah, I, uh, AJ laughed at it, but he laughs at everything. Anyway, game one. We got Frozen <laughs> going up against Jen. Another battle of the House of Three Grand. <laughs> after 3,000. House of Three Grand. I used to pronounce it Hach because uh, it looked like. Hach. 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 Frozen. Hoik. Yeah. Hoik yeah. Frozen no, versus Hoik Jen. But that is House of 3,000. Put on some of the greatest tournaments in our fine area of Tri-State. Yes, absolutely. Definitely. As well as Third Day uh, Esports putting on Kingdom every week on Tuesday. But right now we have Palutena Dittos. Yes, the Ditto. And I mean, a lot of people feel like this. Um, I know you still firmly believe this character is top five. Uh, absolutely. Or at least you said that. Absolutely, this character is absolutely top five. Um, we, yeah. I mean, we may understand the character. We know all the tools because we've seen them a million times. Doesn't but mean they're not good. Yeah, this character is still very good. Lacks absolutely nothing to be a, a great character. So. Um, just like yeah, that. like whenever I see Palo players complain about a ground game, as that explosive flame is going to take the stock, <laughs> I'm like, dude, she doesn't need one. Yeah. Nair is her ground game. Mm -hmm. And she has like, a good I, jab. Yeah. So she doesn't need much of any of that other stuff with yeah, a good yeah. jab and great areas. Yeah, it doesn't have her jab setups that she had in uh, in uh, the previous game, but she doesn't really need them anymore. You know, she has like way like other things to, uh, to compensate for that. Honest to God, when Palo players complain about like Palutena not having a ground game, I want to straight up tell them, I'm like, dude, you're thinking too much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, no press, insult to Palo players. She's my, <laughs> she is my secondary herself. I play Palutena. Uh -huh. You're thinking too much, dude. Yep. Just Nair. Just I'm press serious. the button. <laughs> And there's another one right there coming out from Jen, mm -hmm. getting and, my man frozen off stage. And I mean, I like watching the Ditto because uh, not only do you have to understand the matchup against your character, but you have to be able to play a strong neutral because the same tools that you have are the same tools that your opponent has. Absolutely. 
So your bait, your bait game has to be great. Your punish game has to be great as well. Ooh, didn't get. Who's teleporting? Who's who's and there? Who's not? Frozen <laughs> winds up on top in that trade. Okay, four throw gonna put him off stage. No explosive flame. Trying to catch him with the down tilt. Two frame. Not gonna get it though. And that uh, that teleport, you have to be there almost. Like, it has to be like a double read for you to be able to punish that. You cannot just, like, see that and then try and punish it. Yeah. I've seen I've seen too many Palutena's teleport, uh, down tilt, and then body somebody for trying to punish them. Yeah. You, you really got to, like, you really got to put out a pretty long-lasting hitbox if you're going to want to be able to punish something like that in certain situations, such okay. as rising to layers off the ledge. Mm -hmm. So Jen got to overextend with that grab, going to put himself off stage. Frozen just trying to keep him there. Grab. Down throw, not gonna get a follow up after that, but Jen's still off the stage, not able to make it back yet. That back here trading with that up tilt, really good from uh, Frozen. So now it's Frozen's turn, how do you play the game? Ah, gonna catch him with a fair explosive flame, now you're in the air. Okay, nice job by Frozen, dash attack gonna clip him. And he keeps overextending with these nares. Almost getting hit with that back here to die, but uh, Last hit of Nair, not going to kill Frozen yet. I don't know Frozen heard me, man. You're nearing too hard. Ooh. And the up air going to be able to close out the stock right there. Yeah. Game numero uno going to Jun. Nice. Nice job by Jun. And what's the bang? Just a stage you don't like? <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, that, that's exactly what it is. A stage, yeah. Either a stage that you don't like or a stage that you know your opponent doesn't like. I would just ban Lila in this situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No jank. Yeah, it's not th it's not there. But <laughs> I would just, I would, no, seriously, I would just ban Lila anyway. Right. I want to go to... I ban Lila. We... Do not mm. like uh, slants. Yeah, we don't. We don't like slants here. I actually like crazy. Yoshi's story as a stage personally, but the slants just. Yeah, the slants yeah. are huge. Yeah. Nonetheless, let's talk about uh, what is this town? This is Smashville. Oh, Smashville. A sh On Smashville. Yep. Smashville. Funny enough, I think this is actually one of Palutena's kind of her worst stages. Yeah. Why at least so? in the legal ones. Just because, like, I feel like you know. If she can't force her advantage on the stage as much in certain matchups against rushdown characters. Okay. I'm talking fast characters like Fox or Sonic who are able to just run under like her auto reticle, her explosive yeah, flame whenever yeah, she does yeah. it. She can't like force it as much. But in certain matchups, I think this stage is wonderful. Like against like maybe like Bowser or Donkey Kong okay. or whatever. Just yeah. stages where like her neutral air is just so hard to get around with the hardest of charges. Down the, smash able to take the Yo, stock. he charged that before Frozen knew he wanted yeah. to teleport. He was like, bro, you're gonna want to teleport in about 60 frames. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Just so you know, I'm waiting. <laughs> waiting for a big old hug. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm going to take you under my wing, literally, and kill you. <laughs> it's kind of sick. Yeah. Nonetheless, yeah. Uh, Frozen. going to be able to do it. Not to say that Smashville is a bad stage. Ooh, and the oh, excuse well. me. Say, that, was that, that, was was that, the, that was Frozen that got the near zero to death in the beginning. Yeah, and, no, that was him. And Jen was the Jen one who just, just got that evened it up. Okay. Jen is the purple one. Oh. Kind of mixed it up there. Nonetheless, I mean, pretty even game here. Yo, you do you do understand you just got mixed by both of these guys because you uh, you confused them. I did. Shake both of their hands after this. I set. will shake both at the same time. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Should be a down throw to a bear. Not able to do it. Actually, able to air dodge just in time is yeah. frozen. And you can do that off stage, especially you're able to do that because you won't get put in the mix. But um. You're still at the edge, mm. so you're still in a really bad position. One of the worst positions in Smash Ultimate. At being at the edge is, is muy bad. Yeah, no, no fuck <laughs> <laughs> right. Down tilt? Mm, no down tilt right here, actually. Just Oh, a lot of patience coming in, but he tried to catch him with the up smash. And you know what's crazy? He actually hit him with the up smash, but the dash attack ate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And went straight through it because the dash ta the up smash actually connected with the shield. Yes. And, but as we all know, as uh, the lasting hitbox of up smash is going to stay out, catch him right there. Yes. Palutena's dash attack has invincibility on the shield. That and her back air. Yep. That's actually one of her uh, only or one of her biggest nerfs from 4 over to this game is that her back air used to make the entire top half of her body invincible. Oh my gosh. And the dash attack used to like, the hitbox used to be huge and completely invincible. Yeah. That's why Palutena bodied like, uh, you know, had a couple of niche matchups uh, in that game, such as Mario. You know, because Mario just had no approach options against her. Because all she had to do was just stand back and dash attack. Now Palutena has to fight you, and she can with that amazing neutral air that she has. Yeah, that's that that sucks. I imagine she had that in this game. I no, Palutena would 100, don't, 100, don't even I don't, don't even, even mention that. Not 100 percent the best character in the game if she had that uh, Smash Four invincibility. Don't, don't even. But I don't want to live in that it. world. <laughs> okay. 3.0 3 is coming soon. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what my father is going to do. Ooh, okay, back here by Frozen, gonna take that stock from Jen, but he's at zero, 62% on Frozen. How do you how do you opt this comeback? It's a small comeback, but um, 
definitely not out of the realm of possibility for Frozen. I think Palutena has actually has some of the best comeback potential in the entire game. Yes. Just like if she's able to just land one neutral air with that giant hitbox, exactly. it leads into another one, into another one, to another one, which on pretty much most stages is a guaranteed 50%. Yes. And that's that's huge damage for a comeback. Mm -hmm. You know, and then she just spaces back there in the neutral just like this, and Jen able to take game two over Frozen. Frozen shaking his damn How head. How scary is that, man? On reaction, he just back aired, and it... First of all, it'll probably trade with your getup attack. I mean, you're not going to beat getup attack, but it'll trade. Yeah. Um, it's going to be jump. It's going to be neutral getup. You have to roll. And by the time you actually get in front of Palutena, she's just going to grab you and back throw you. That is such a scary position to be in exactly. against Palutena. Just, you know what's a scary position against Palutena? Just fighting her. <laughs> scary I'm position uh, as soon as the just, game starts. Yeah, as soon as the game starts, basically. She's just good in like pretty much almost every situation. Yeah. A lot of top players think she's only going to get worse as time goes on. I kind of agree with that opinion, but I mean, I don't know. I, I just mean, feel like you know her game plan is going to become a little linear as time goes on. But that's then. This is now. Yeah, we don't I, know that for a fact. I think as far as the meta goes, she'll... Oh, she'll, she'll oh, yeah, you... Air dodge off the stage. Oh, right. I think Frozen. as far as the meta goes, she's going to go down because yeah. we're going to learn the matchup. There's too many Palutena's. If you want to be successful, you're going to have to know the matchup like the back of your hand. But as a character, she lacks nothing. If they don't touch her, she lacks nothing, and her disadvantage is one of the best in the game. Yeah, I, I wholeheartedly agree with that. I think the exact same thing is going to happen with Wolf. Because, like, every Wolf is the new wave right now. Everyone's talking about Wolf and everything, but people are going to learn how to fight him eventually, yeah. too. So. And I'm not, to be honest, I'm not afraid of Wolf at all. I mean, I don't know if it's because I play Roy, but I'm not afraid of Wolf. <laughs> I don't know if it's except I, when you get like down smash. I don't know if it's because I play Mario. And my character is just so mobile and it just gets so much off of grabs. Whoa! What was that? I, I I blinked. I know you were. I know you blinked. I saw you, but like I can't even explain it myself. He just got hit with like a fully charged down smash. My man didn't Ugh. die. He didn't die. I mean, he did die because he got launched far enough off stage. Uh -huh. He didn't have a jump, but like it just didn't kill him raw off the blast zone because he was on the other side of Smashville. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So you see Jen uh, evening this one back up, uh, which is bad because not only is the game even, but he has deed in the beginning. Yeah, my man. My which man means Frozen, Frozen is kind of tilted. He has to be tilted at this point. My man Frozen is down 2 0. I mean, he's definitely in like the ultimate we take those. Yeah. And now he's going to have to take something else if he wants to be able to win this game. And he got the explosive flame and was able to shield the one that was spawning on top of him. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was nuts. That's crazy. So now uh, Jen's explosive flame wasn't even worth, like, not even close to worth. <laughs> uh, you will say that about explosive flame, though. I mean, despite how good that move is, it is one of the most visually reactable moves in the game. Yes. Yeah, when you see it come out, you know, if, like, you, your buttons, if you're in a good enough of a position to the point where you can react to it, you should be able to avoid it. Yeah. The move is amazing, but it is kind of overrated, in my opinion, just yeah. a little bit. Absolutely. Me too. But the thing is, it's so scary on hit that as soon as you hear explosive flame, you automatically just Honestly, put your shield out. <laughs> yeah. That's what people do. And it's like, if you shield it, you're not going to be able to punish it. If you're dashing towards Palutena you, and you run past it, you're good. She's going to eat a full punish for that. Ooh, as a wall. Mm. Just putting it up there faster than any president ever could. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice job by Frozen. He, uh, he was able to uh, kind of stand his ground and not give in to the... Uh, to Jen, kind of even in the stocks back up after mm -hmm. SDing really hard. We're immediately going to final destination. Mm -hmm. My man's saying, I want no platforms. Yes. I want to marry you. Because, I mean, Frozen is definitely one of the more heavy uh, teleport cancel carry, uh, play. I was talking about that so yes. much he before you on commentary. He loves it. And he only does it in situations where it's applicable and yeah. he never messes it up. Yes. He utilizes uh, float canceling or warp canceling. Yeah. Float canceling. <laughs> he utilizes warp canceling better than legit any Palutena I've ever seen. Yeah. Except maybe Nairo. Nairo's, Nairo's, Nairo's just good pretty as disgusting. Well. Yeah. And then right after them, I would say is uh, Fruit. Fruit. Yeah, Fruit is really sure. good at, at doing that as well. I will say fruit personally, I think she does it a little too much, but like she like she's flashy with it because yeah. like she knows how to do like she knows all like the fancy like float yeah. setups and everything. But yeah. that's but that's her, is, you know. Yeah, Frozen is is definitely really good with it and he's not like he's very optimal. Yeah. With definitely like hands. top three float like warp canceling Kyle Tanus. Yeah. In that order. In, okay. my, in that order, in my opinion. <laughs> I will say that. 
but I don't know. That's a debate for another time. Anyway, yeah. FD is the pick. No yeah. more platforms. That means no more platform pressure with any neutral airs. Yes. And that means no more. That means no more or not as many warp cancels for yes. both of these guys right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can still do it off of the ledges that are on like Final Destination, but that's really only the edge guard. Unless they're trying to catch like a high recovery, like a high jump or something, and yeah. they like warp cancel to the left and then just do like a rising up air. But mm -hmm. if they suspect that coming, which frankly both of these players should, they're both good enough to realize yes. that's going to happen. They will recover low in that situation. Absolutely. And uh, Frozen, I was just getting ready to say, if Frozen knocks you off he's the stage... He's so thirsty! He's <laughs> Dude! <laughs> he's one to use the teleport cancel to get off the stage and then cover the edge. And it's so good because he can just nair and you're, you're going to get hit with it. He just loves to do it and he does it so well. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Just trying to get back to the stage now, though. 98% sitting on Frozen. Yeah. Not scared that back air going to eat uh, Jen's jump. And the rising neutral air. Rising neutral airs, not just Palutena's, any long-lasting Nair, Mario's, Pikachu's, anyone's, is actually quite good for stuffing out Palutena's recovery on the yes. way back. And I think more people need to start yes. doing that and realizing that. Mm -hmm. I it's swear to God, like, every absolutely. stock I've taken off of Fruit is like a Mario rising neutral air. And she either misses her tech or it just sends, like, the person yes. the other way. It's absolutely really good because not a lot of people understand how many frames Palutena has before she, hit, like, grabs the edge that she's, like, uh, um... Vulnerable. Yeah. No, uh, people don't really realize that because it's a teleport move, so yeah, the visual cues aren't really there. But yeah. you can absolutely punish that if you're able to keep a hitbox out there. Absolutely. Just a word of the wise from us, us competitors, us commentators, onto you. Palutena's up B is not perfect. Yeah. It, 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 you know, on certain if she recovers from certain angles, you can punish it. Yep. Definitely very hard to punish it when she lands on stage. But if she's going to the edge and you have a long-lasting hitbox, throw it out. Yeah. Which. You know, a lot of neutral airs in this game are pretty amazing. I feel like most characters do. Even a character like Luigi, he has a long-lasting neutral air. Yep. Unfortunately, he doesn't have anything else. But <laughs> that's uh, that's the other green-haired uh, competitor. And right now we have Palutena, the good yes. one. Jen and uh, Frozen just like that. And it's a pretty even match. You see Jen trying to put him in the mix right now. Going to trade with Nairs, yeah. I think, just now. That, that was, was interesting. He like, just tried. He didn't just keep nairing. He could have just kept nairing to get that damage, but he decided to forward air and then like try and catch like uh, try and catch him air dodging down to grab him or something. But it just didn't work. If anything, it just made him drop his combo. Yeah. You know, I sometimes guess. it's the simple stuff that's more optimal. But I mean, Jen, unfortunately, not realizing that. Yep. But We're I just mean, not going for that in that situation, at least. But I mean, he's still up right now. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Still up by double the percent. Ooh, try. That was really nice. He tried to read the spot dodge, which is what Frozen did the last two chances he got in that situation. He spot dodged the grab. So uh, Jen tried to punish that with an up smash, but Frozen opted to just sit and shield. Really uh, good option from him. Yeah. I don't really know if that smart. was a read or he just guessed right, but good option. 100% I would have spot dodged there. Absolutely. I, I would have gotten hit by that. I would have been, and I would have been mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay. But I'm not in, uh, I'm not in loser's uh, quarters, so. Oh, and there you go, just catching the very beginning Ooh. of the set. And the explosive nice. flame to be able to cover that. That was a gorgeous edge yes, guard coming out really from Jen. Good. And that was, and all that happened because Frozen opted not to upbeat immediately to the stage. Mm -hmm. He jumped and kind of hung there a little bit, and Jen threw out a rising there, which clipped him right at the end. Wonderful edge guarding, wonderful stuff coming out from Jen right there, and he is up a full stock because of it. Frozen needs to take this stock now if he wants to stay in this bracket. He's had such a hell of a run, reading the roll away yes. with the explosive flame on his own, just tacking on that damage and forcing his advantage is House of 3000 Jen. Yes. Looking very poised to be able to take this game. Unless he's able to get a kill right here, went for an up smash read, but unfortunately the start of that move is relatively slow, so he wasn't going to be able to get it right there. Yeah. Palutena's and aerials are faster than any of her ground movements still. Absolutely. They always have been, even in Smash 4 when she was bad. So, and there we go. Down but nice not job. out is Frozen. He needs to be able to do something right here, like take advantage of an up smash right there. I actually think he up smashed right there because he was going to cover his uh, respawn and vulnerability. Mm -hmm. And he just wanted like Frozen to be able to run in and grab him. Okay. But the spacing on the back air, what a perfect yes. retreat. And Jen playing really well right now. He's yet to take a percent on Man. his first stock. And just like that, going to space out that up smash and catch him overextending with that nair. Good job by Jen. You first saw it here, folks. Mm -hmm. And let's see it again. That's really that, that's really good. Look at this. So much pressure over at the edge. All he did was jump back, turn around, wait for that nair, eat this up smash, my There's guy. no risk. My I'm friend. At I'm at zero my percent. Friend. I'm at zero percent. There's no risk. My friend, let me show you the light. Literally. The light frozen. Yeah. And finally, moving back to the winner's side of things, mm -hmm. we have the Jersey players. I'm sorry, that was rude. 
the, the, jer the, the Jersey players. The, the Jersey boys holding it down here in winners finals. Yeah, winners One of these players finals. guaranteed top two, both of them top three. Yep, and neither have uh, qualified for the $5,000 pop bonus invitational. So uh, this is good for both of them. Yeah, they're both they're both uh, auto qualified actually, automatically. Clap it up for him. Yeah, nice job. But here we go. Uh, Jackal rocking the wolf. Uh, he's gone through a couple of characters in this game. I've seen him play Pichu. I've seen him play Wolf. I've seen him play uh, Pokemon Trainer. I've seen him without the Sonic. I'm, I I think I've even seen him like play Little Mac. If I'm not mistaken, he's yeah, tried yeah, a Little what, Mac what, as well. What drugs was he on? I have no idea. I never. I want to see the Little Mac. I could be wrong though. Nonetheless, it's the Wolf here, and it's doing great against the Look for, uh, his, Gons. for his sake, I hope you're wrong. Mm -hmm. But yeah, taking a little bit of a break from the Pichu. He still does mess around with Pichu, plays him a little bit more of a counterfeit character. He's focusing yeah. a lot on Wolf nowadays, yeah. at least for the past couple of weeks. And his Wolf, already good enough to get to winner's finals of this stacked yes. Legacy tournament. Yes. Just really just a true testament to his skill. I mean, Wolf is a pretty basic character. Uh, his approaches don't really change. So if you have really good fundamentals, you can be really good with Wolf. Yeah, I think both of these characters are like, with all due respect to like, you know, both these players, I think they're two of the easiest top tiers to play. Ooh. Or like two of the most consistent top tiers to play. Yeah. They both have wonderful neutral areas. I would say these two characters and Ike, for sure. Yeah, oh, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Got your jump clip. And just like that, Palutena able to turn the tide. You were just saying last game how much of a com comeback factor she has. And even before I can finish my sentence about how great uh, Palutena has a comeback factor, she loses that stock. So we got an even game between Gonz and uh, Jackal right now. We've definitely been, like, kissing Palutena's feet for, like, the past, like, 15 minutes <laughs> so far, like, talking about how amazing this character is. But Wolf, uh -huh. of course, one of yes. his own. And Palutena Ooh. can also just do this. Yep. Just imagine, you know how laggy that was in the last game, man? Yeah. Look at that. She had, uh... Jackal had no jump in that uh, situation, so he wasn't able to do anything. Back hit of Nair going to clip the um, the counter from Palutena. Palutena, uh, just truly a hollow shell of what she once was. <laughs> Honest to God. In, like, a good way, you know? Ooh, yeah, with the run-up jab. Definitely not the same. Run-up grab coming out from... Uh, Coming out from Jackal, going to be able to get some good damage right there. And look at that. In disadvantage, Palutena is still able to press buttons to get herself out, which is so good. And ah, the DI, I feel like he could have survived that. Actually, he DI'd that away, and he was on the right side of the explosive flame. I think yeah. that DI was actually optimal. Otherwise, he would have gone straight up. But going straight up might have not killed. Yeah, so that's I don't know what I'm saying. It, it looked like he died on, on the right side of the blast zone. So maybe... Honestly... Maybe I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real confident. I think he just got caught in a really bad spot to get hit by yeah. explosive flame. Yeah. He should have jumped right there, but unfortunately, he just wasn't, uh, wasn't aware of the situation completely yet, or just perhaps there was not much he could do about it. Yep. And wolves love to do that. They love to forward throw and then just double jump bear. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> there was no way you were surviving that um, that <laughs> down smash. Yo, yeah, absolutely not. Gonk's throwing him off stage, trying to intercept him with the neutral B again. Not going to be able to do it. Now just looking for a neutral air to be able to take the stock. Trying to get the down throw to the bear, but unfortunately he runs out of stage to be able to get the reverse aerial yeah. rush on. Now, and actually, like, Gonk's did the tech where you just run off stage and immediately air dodge back and wave land. Yeah. I love that. It's, it's cool. Yeah. I mean, you could, you could get called out for it, but definitely a good mix-up. Yeah, I don't think it's that useful, but it's just it's cool looking. It's just one of those things to, like, it's one of those buttons to, like, spam an advantage. You know, like multi-shining. I, and I think as the meta goes back throw, back throw gonna do it. Game. Not Ooh, yet. Never nice. mind. Good great, DI. Great DI on that one. And you're done. Pichu. <laughs> Pichu. Good night. Jackal, Jack, Jackal, Jackal, Pichu. You died to that twice in one game. Pichu. I think he does it. I think he I think he tries to Pichu. Yeah. I don't know, man. He's either He's been... gonna uh go out with this one, Wolf, straight wolf. Um, and if he gets to the run back, start Pichu, or he might try Pichu right He now. has been staying pretty consistent with Wolf all day. But you if know. we don't see Pichu here, we're not seeing Pichu at all. Yep, in there this, it is. In this winner's final Pichu's set. Pichu's dead. <laughs> Ding dong the witch. Unless he gets three stock. If he gets three stock, he might try Yeah, that. unless Gon's like, you know, for, like body, 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 body bags him. Yeah. Which but I don't think is going to happen. Me either. Then we're going to see the switch. Oh, no, here's the start of the body, body, oh, body, 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 body. Okay, good air dodge. Gon's not able to reset it. Um, Such a bad widget. With the grab. Mm, okay. Now you see Gans has a game plan now. He's just going to kind of camp um, his explosive flame and auto reticle until he approaches how all wolves approach, jump, and he's going to anti-air him with Nair. Mm. That is the strat right now. So let's see if let's see if uh, Jack was able to um, I have a counteract heart. that. I have a heart attack every time Wolf down smashes by the ledge. Yo, it's so, it's so big, man. Ooh, how do you get I down? Killed. I don't think he has a jump. Okay, fair. Put a fair and at a disadvantage. Put himself in uh, stage control. But that back air, gonna eat it. Okay, dash that putting him back in the air. No up air though. Okay, strong neutral being played right now. Neither one to get hit because it could uh, 
proved to be fatal by both of them. 123 staying on Jackal. He's going to jump over that, but he's going to catch his landing with the dash attack, which is really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. There we go. There's the neutral air to force his way back. Mm -hmm. Dash attack not going to do it just yet. That move was actually nerfed and knocked back from this game to the last. Yep. And that up, trying to challenge Wolf's up B, definitely, it, it's, it's almost like the new Ness up B. Like, if you, if you challenge it wrong, like, I bro. actually compared it to Ness's up B a little bit earlier in terms that it just doesn't go very far, but that it kills. Yeah. Wonky percent it yeah. kills. Yeah, like, and even if you're on the standing at the edge of the stage, like, you will get you will get clipped off the stage. Like, you yoinked off the, the side of the stage. I mean, like, Ness, again, it absolutely compensates for, like, you know, how, you know, kind of bad Wolf's recovery is, at least yeah. in terms of distance, you know? It's one of, like, his only real flaws as a character, at least currently in the meta. Yeah, I would agree. Okay. Don's option to just uh, teleport to the middle of the stage. Definitely a great option for, uh, great option for uh, Palutena in disadvantage, so. Oh, and the dash attack. Okay, Not air dodge into the edge of the there. stage, really good. And uh, Jackal just eating all these dash attacks, man. He's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, he just isn't shielding. And he's just getting his landing caught as well. Okay, back throw. Turn Not gonna grab. kill yet. Yeah, oh, that, that DI was bad though. Cause he went straight back. The last time he actually, he held up and he was able to go to the corner. But nonetheless, even stocks once again. Let's back see if Jackal could, uh, Jackal could uh, opt this comeback. Cause he was down early. The great Gonzalez pressing plenty of button, but no punish coming out from Jackal. Okay. Uh, oh, and you have no jump. Too many times Jackal's getting caught in the air uh, against uh, Gons with no jump. There we go. Gons forcing his advantage a little bit, not pressing any button, just going to the other side of the stage. But now he's off stage because of it. You don't want to get gimped here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That down smash is a thing. He showed you that he will clip your up B with, uh, with that down smash. Oh, nice. Going to shield that one, but got caught overextending. Going to eat that forward smash. Now you're off the stage. Auto reticle. Okay. Good job. He was a That time he was able to make it towards the um, the bottom drop zone. So the auto reticle wasn't able to um, lock, lock in on him. Oh, and what a smash nice. board. Pivot, pivot grab. grab. If there's anybody who's going to be good at pivot grabbing in this game, <laughs> it's, it's, it's absolutely going to be guns. <laughs> that was really nice. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Nonetheless, wolf, this wolf right here seems a little confident. A back air will do it. That's and safe on block. And he has some momentum. And Gon's not even, doesn't even want to uh, try and punish that. Okay. Tries to uh, F tilt. Not going to get it. Yeah, warping the heck out of there. Mm. Going to get the grab. Not going to do it. Not enough percent on the Great Gonzalez. Then the falling explosive oh. flame. That's a thing. Yes. Sometimes Palutainers will just do that on the Absolutely. way down. And they still have time to be able to up E back. Why is this character yes. so good? It's really good, man. Let me just put out this kill box right here while you're not paying attention. It's insane. And the reason why Gons was able to do that is because Wolf can't go off stage. Wolf doesn't, I mean, he could do the, his nair is pretty good. It's a long lasting hitbox that could clip it. But if he gets hit with anything off the stage, you're dead. My you're man's, dying at 30. My man's Goffinen spitting the straight facts. About uh, Palutena I mean, right there. You're absolutely right. What is Wolf going to do? Yes, he he's going to run off stage. Can, and I guess I feel like that's why I'm not afraid of Wolf as a Roy main. Because he's not going to get me. Yeah. <laughs> what is he going to do? Yeah, he, he can't can, do that. He cannot go off the stage. He Wolf has to win this game on standing on the stage. Or um, getting that down smash. Uh, which is really good. Silly Wolf. Gimps are for Palutena. <laughs> Gimps are for not you. <laughs> <laughs> Gimps are for not you. The wolf, of course, still an amazing character. Sort yeah. of a monster off stage, yes. on stage if played properly. Yes. And Jackal, of course, won as well, but he is now down 2 0 against the Great Gonzalez, who is just doing a really solid job of playing around this wolf. I mean, the wolf is still relative as a back air, not going to do it, just Ooh. barely not doing it. The knockback yes. growth of that move is insane. And both of them, Jackal and Gons, playing very patient. They're kind of like reacting, they're not really like throwing out preemptive hitboxes. They're kind of just seeing where they're going and, and reacting to those options. Yeah, absolutely. I was just going to say, you know, I mean, the Wolf isn't like new. It's that L-Tilt is going to be able to do it. But Jackal, yes. of course, has been playing P2 for just a little bit longer. Mayhaps his Wolf is not completely perfect yet. But yes. we'll see what this guy is going to be able to do. We've seen plenty of reverse 3-0 before. You never know. Okay, and you see Gon's trying to get these counters here, but uh, Jackal not biting on the bait at all. Okay. Nice. Dash Attack going to clip that uh, warp cancel for that warp to the middle of the stage. He tried to land with uh, Nair just now, but Dash Attack just going to destroy it. Like, bro, Dash Attack eats just about everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
That back air going to be able to do it, even out the stocks real quick. Yes, you don't want to uh, get caught grabbing or with a grab in this game. They uh, spot dodge or roll behind you or whatever. Like, you you're you can eat a forward smash by almost every character in this game. Yeah, this game is so much more about neutral than the last one was, and when the last one was so much more about grabs. Uh -huh. So if you play, like, grappler characters, you know, like I used to do, you better, you better work those out of your habits real quick. Yes. You know, you don't want to be grabbing too much in this game. Only when you know you can. Yep. Especially because shield is so much uh, so much worse in this game. Nonetheless, Jackal off the stage right now. The spacing. Is that it? Oh, oh my okay. god. That was almost really, really bad for yes. Jackal. But Jackal keeping his composure, fighting his way back on stage, and able to get the stock because of it. Yep, because he had a really, really strong lead. So if he, he was giving, if he gave Gans that stock that early, it would have completely turned the tide of, of, of the match. Absolutely. Okay, Gans is playing this turtle game, trying to make him see... See if uh, he can force Jackal to come to him. He can't, but, even, um, he can't even reflect that. that it, yeah. It's going right above her head. Yeah. Look at that. It's going right above her head. Why is that move so good? Mm, Why does that, that send that kind of angle on the do back it. throw? Even game. He took the bait. Gans is so, like, in situations like that, players who do that, they kind of play that what we call the lane play style. They kind of break eventually. Gans's willpower to play that lane game is second to... Maybe the buzz. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. even then, it's still arguable because in that situation, Gans, all he did was throw auto reticle like seven times, walked forward a couple of steps, threw another one, and then forced uh, Jackal to come towards him. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but just like that, you can see Jackal pretty angry right now. 128 sitting on uh, the Great Gonzalez. Is this going to kill? No. No, okay. he's going to DI that away. Yes. You're always going to want to DI that away. That's not a. Uh, that's not a uh, that's not a grab mix up there. It's like, yeah. uh, not a grab. That's not a DI mix up there. Because if you DI away, is that up tilt is going to be able to take the stock. Jackal nice. putting himself on the board. Forward yeah. throw is not going to kill you no matter what. Yeah. That move has like no knockback. But back throw will. So you always want to DI like in the direction that Wolf is facing. No matter what. It's just safer that way. Yeah. And I don't know what that was, whether it's a dash attack or a whiff grab. But um, definitely going to get punished by Wolf uh, in a situation like that. I think that was even just up tilt that... Uh, that took the stock. Absolutely. Yeah, the punch. Uh, Wolf is actually um, the kicker for the New York Giants. What? Hmm? What? He is absolutely the kicker for the New York Giants. You don't uh -oh. see his dash attack and up to? It's good. Dude, That's what we're going to call it. The it's good. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Down throw. God! Down throw. It's good. Dude, I'm mad. I'm mad. <laughs> you, you made Devin laugh. Devin just shakes his head at my chance. I've, I, I don't think I've ever seen Devin laugh at a commentator. Oh, I've no, he, he, I've gotten him once or twice. I've seen, no, no, no. I've, I don't think I've ever seen him laugh at a j commentator joke, but I've seen him laugh at commentators before. <laughs> as mean as that sounds. But Devin's a good guy. But 62% sitting on uh, Jack right now, and you're off stage. The How do you make it back? Air read twice, and he put the explosive flame mm, in the right you spot. Still too. have no, no jump. jump. Oh, okay. Yo, that, yo, I'm not gonna lie. If I was gone, I would have just done it. I would have ran off there. Absolutely. Why not? Why not take that stock super early? Send that 58%. But I mean, he took it anyways. Gonna read that jump with back air. Nice job by uh by Jackal. Bad situation to be in though. Okay. Down throw. Fair. That other fair gonna miss. Trying to clip, trying to clip him with an air, but uh. Does it get anything from it? I hate to stop your train of thought, but it is 2-1, correct? Yes. Okay, yeah, no. just making sure. Oh, wait. We were keeping track. No, it's just like he wasn't sure either. The score was wrong for like a second. Yeah, there we go. Unless they don't shake hands after Gons wins this season. Then we're all morons. Anyway. Yeah, now that <laughs> you say that, I don't know. Uh... We'll, we'll figure it out in a sec. I was, I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's 2-1, but uh, regardless. Okay. Let's just pretend this is game four. <laughs> the up air, going to do it right there. 70%, it's 85, and 96. Mm -hmm. Already tacked on, 102, staying on the ledge just Down a two. little too long. And that and that move will clip you, man. Like, you cannot stay on the le at the ledge long in this game. No, you can't. Yeah, A lot, a start, lot of stuff hits ledge. Once you start hearing about that 80, 90, 100%, like, your ledge invisibility, it's, it's not uh doesn't stay very long, and man. Before, I was just doing it to people, man. I'm like, Mario, I just ran up a dash attack. Everyone now has Mario dash attack at the ledge. Yeah. Ooh, just Ooh. going right underneath those auto reticles. If he got clipped by one, he probably would have died. With no jump off the stage. Mm -hmm. And just okay. slowly but surely tacking on that damage is Jackal. And he has to do that right now. It's about 100% deficit between these two players right now. He needs to get something cooking if he wants to. Doesn't want to lose the stock, With which he rap. might. Nah, not yet. And look at that. 148, and he still didn't. He wasn't dead. That nair going to do it, though. I feel like that move should not kill. Yeah, it definitely shouldn't. 
but that's a conversation that everyone's having all across America. <laughs> <laughs> all across America? All across America. All and across even the in, world. And even in Europe. Japan, not so much. <laughs> all across the world, my friend. But that's a debate for another time. Like, uh, just how do we nerf Palutena's is Nair? Anyway. Exactly. Okay, trying to make it back to the stage. Oh, uh, tries to get a field goal kick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, tried, tried, my man that. tried to hit him with the Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> but ah! completely did it. Completely hit him with the Charlie Brown because it whiffed. Kick. <laughs> Kick not good. Ah, okay. Did you see that comic of like Goku and like playing football with Charlie Brown? I did not. Oh, it's amazing. I'll, I'll show it to you later. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, Jackal allowing Gans to live pretty long here. Uh, Gans at 133%, 133 but he still has two stock. Jackal on his last stock. So a lot of rage things can, uh, can uh, kill you right now. And it's good. It's good. <laughs> the explosive flame coming off of that. Yo, yes. he's just waiting. He waited. Wait that. He tried to wait for an option. Okay. Jackal not giving it to him, knowing the situation he's in. Don't get gimped here. Don't okay. get gimped here. Yes. And Wolf hits very hard, so nice job. I like it. Before, in the last game, uh, Jackal got caught jumping pretty early, so he was able to hit him with the auto reticle. That time, he kind of dropped down, but that up air. No That's jump. Be able to do it. Gons just kept forcing Jackal low, and it yes. was game four, by the way. It was. Go just ball. kept forcing him low with the not just with the explosive flame, but with the neutral B, the recovery, so exploitable, and then just catching him with that up air mm -hmm. hitbox. Gons just earned himself a trip to grand finals yes. winner side. Guaranteed time. Look and how big. the last hit. Look how big that uh, up air is. That move is amazing. That is insane, man. And, and not only does it do that, but if you were to air dodge that last hit only, Palutena would have uh, the FAF on that move is low enough where she would have frame trapped him. So it's like, you can't win. That run back against uh, Jackal, he's going to have to go through Jen in order to do it. Yeah, but the green-haired lady is gone already. Ooh. We're going straight, okay, to, straight Fox to the Fox McCloud. McCloud. And uh, Jen really likes this character. Really likes this character. I mean, Palu still hit, I believe, and I think he believes this as well. He still believes Palu's his best character. But he really wants to be able to play uh, play this Fox. Yeah, I actually, I'm not going to lie. I love Fox in this game. Yeah, he's he's really cool. I mean, he's really cool in just about every Smash game. Absolutely. But um, he's definitely cool in this game. This engine really fits him well. Uh, yeah, for sure. His neutral air really fits him well mm -hmm. as and, well. And I think they've nerfed him enough so that he's not broken but extremely viable. Yeah, if anything, like, like he so functions good. more in this game. He functions closer to Melee Fox in this game than he has in any other rendition of Smash. Yeah. Just because, like, he nares and nares and nares. Shine is potent off stage. Uh-huh. You know, it's just it's one of those things that work. That's why Mango, Mango's playing him now. Mm, he's nice. playing Fox, too, so. Oh, nice. Yeah, along with Wario, Mario, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there okay. you go! Ooh, and that falling there into up smash, really good. I feel like in this game, you have to be really tight with your conversions with as far as like Nair and down and drill to up smash, all those moves, because of how fast the game is. Mm -hmm. So you have to be able to react to that, and you have to know your uh, know your conversions early. Nonetheless, uh, taking that first stock from Juice, uh, Jen sitting pretty comfortably right now. As yeah, long as he does Four throw yeah. DIing away and getting forced off stage. That's why ZSSs are doing that now. Yes. It sets up into more scenarios, both in like terms of back air 50-50s and ledge grab. No, yeah. not ledge grabs. And like uh, down Bs off stage. Mm -hmm. it, just, Absolutely. it just sets up so much more than like any like down throw does like at this stage in the game because they just nerf her down throw so much uh -huh. that it just it doesn't work like how it used to. Ooh, there you go, good get job. And he knew that that neutral air was going to send him backwards. Usually that move sends you forward so you can get the follow-up, but he didn't even go that way. Shows that he uh, really understands this character. Absolutely. Okay, how do we make it back to the stage? He's going to up B. Okay, going to jump off into fair. Jen not going to block it, but he's going to block that jab and react with that uh, up smash. Taking, really nice. Taking the Johnny Cage flip kick to the face. I mean, this character's still really good. Absolutely. I think I think Fox, you know, so you want to talk about top five? Mm. Maybe. <laughs> Still really good, man. And with that, uh, you can see in that situation, Jen opted not to side B to the stage or to the edge because uh, when Fox side B's to the edge, just like Palutena, he stays there for a little while where you can really punish him. Mm -hmm. So Juice throwing out that, oh, good job by Jen not yeah. mashing. Juice kind of tried to um, read the mash and uh, Jen didn't give it to him. Yeah, I'm all. actually not going to lie. I was, as that side B is going to take the stock, mm -hmm. I was literally about to say before you kept going on with your thing, why is Jen not mashing? Yeah, that's exactly why that's he That's exactly didn't mash. why he wasn't mashing. Mm -hmm. So you would have died in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> and you see Jen live to fight another day. I absolutely would have died. Uh, anyway, okay, forward, forward throw, tossing him off, trying yes. to get a back air conversion, nothing. Mm -hmm. 
uh, uh, Juice not giving it to him. And just the kick wow. right to the crotch. Did you see where Fox's foot was? So scary. I did not. It was too fast. Right to the crotch. It was too fast. No, we're going to take a look at it again. Check it out. Look at this. Just dance, dance dancing. Okay. This is, this is oh. not how you interact with women, by the way. Not this like is this. A take bait. a look. Bait. Let me bait you. Oh, I'm not here. I am there. I'm not here. I am there. Don't jump. Oh. Yeah, you see? How rude. That was ugly, right? How rude was that? That was ugly. That was almost as ugly as back in Let's Make Moves when Tariq was just slapping uh, every pal who's butt. Right? Like with the side tilt. Uh, give me that. Uh. Wario's forward tilt. <laughs> Wario's forward tilt is the most disrespectful move Yo. in any fighting game I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. It's disgusting, and it fits his personality Yo, perfectly. Absolutely. Wario's a creep. Wario's rude and a creep. Absolutely. But no Wario's on screen no. right now. Jen does have a Wario, but... Does he? Yeah. But I've, I have never seen it. Yeah. I, I don't think we're going to see it anyways. <laughs> yeah, I definitely doubt we're going to see it. Not oh, no the Smash 4? Nah. Nah, no ladder. No, nah, my man just in there. My man just ultimated his Smash 4. He's like, he's trying to smash four, because he's uh -huh. just up airing. And then my man's like, no, we're playing ultimate. Nair. We nair in this yes. game now. We, we nair now. We, we need nair out of it. My man Jen just reminded Juice what game we're playing. <laughs> he just straight up reminded him what game. Oh, uh, and you see, he got that up till just now, but he opted not to do. And you might be dead still. Nice job. Yeah, you are. Nice good job coverage keeping from your Juice. Jump. It was a good job keeping your jump. I like that. Mm -hmm. See, the high level player. Yeah. But my man Juice is on it. Like yeah. B. This edge guard. A mid level player would have said, okay, uh, let me reset the neutral here. Let me keep you off stage. Nah, Juice was like, oh, you still here? I could kill you, B. I know how to make my aggression work. Yes. Is what he's saying. Calculated. I'm going to do it right there. Mm. That this downbeat. He uses downbeat to cover multiple options by the ledge so well. Mm -hmm. It's honestly kind of nice. And I'm actually surprised Juice is still jumping, like approaching Jen. Because Jen has called out his jump uh, twice in this set with a um, with some type of stuff already, and now you're at kill percent. So are you gonna do it again? See, <laughs> Jen wants that up smash really bad, and Fox tra chasing you in that situation is so bad. That grab though, he wasn't fishing for it as hard as Light does. Have you ever watched Light play? I mean, yeah. Light's a top player, so Bro. he finds a way to make it work somehow. Yeah. He falling nares people's shields mm -hmm. more than anything I've ever seen in my yes. life. <laughs> and he just never gets punished. Yeah, but he is the best fisherman. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> as the far best as Fox, Fox goes, world. definitely the best fisherman. Jen actually thinks that Light is the best in the world right now. But that's I, another that, conversation. That's another conversation. <laughs> for another. He's the best fisherman, for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure, the best yeah. fisherman. He'll put Light on deadliest catch. Anyway. Okay, here we go. Not going to take that jab attack, so going to put you in the mix here. How do you get down from this platform? So you jump go. off. And another that's the thing. falling there coming out from Jen. Okay, not going to kill yet. That's the thing with uh, ZSS. Um, you're not safe. He thought he could uh, side beat to that platform and he was going to have some safety. <laughs> but Juice is like, bro, you're never safe. I'm everywhere. Yeah, just, my, man, my man just hit him with the safety dance. Yeah. I mean, Ju Juice does a really good job of uh, putting out hitboxes. Look, look, look at where he was. He was on the ground. He was up it, to the left and then he was up to the right. Like, Juice does a really good job of putting himself everywhere that you want to be and forcing some type of uh, bad uh, option for you. Ooh, and just whiffing it just slightly. Yeah. Like you said, the timing is a little tight in some yes. situations. Depending, Absolutely. It depends on how you space the nair. Like, if you get a really good meaty nair, it's easy. Yeah. But, like, if you get it with, like, the tip of nair, at certain percents, it's actually kind of hard to land. I want to know what frame that up smash comes out, because it looks like it comes out, like, faster in this game. Foxes, I think it might be three. No, no, that's not true. Frame three up smash? No, no, that's, that's not pretty, true. That's mind, pretty, that's pretty crazy. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. I was about that's to wrong. say. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can punish everything with that frame three up smash. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, I mean, nonetheless, it's still really fast, though. Really fast. Okay. Uh, Jen on his last stock right now, though. I mean... Ah. Still alive. Yeah, but as long as Fox is in the... Is on, I think he... I don't think he wanted to... That was revenge. There. That was revenge. Did you see that back here? Yeah. Did no, you see where she kicked him? I did not see. But, I mean, I think... Uh, House of 3000 with their wonderful stream is going to show us exactly where he got kicked. There's the side okay. B. Not going to do it just yet. You want to know how to treat a lady, Fox? You want to know how to treat a lady? Oh, actually, never mind. She kicked like past him. Yeah. Fox, makes the, most, pretty Fox big. makes the most terrified pretty, face. Pretty big. The most terrified face when he gets launched? Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty he bad. stands like Snake when he gets hit. But his face is like... Uh, he like crumples up like a bug. Like just... <laughs> Game three. Pokemon Stadium. 
Yep. Pokemon Center, not a bad stage for either of these guys. Uh, up tilts. Up airs. Nairs. Yeah. All, all, all of that. <laughs> I called it before he did it. All of that. <laughs> I wouldn't see, have gotten hit and by And the neutral there. with these two uh, characters, is mu it's kind of different from the others. Although they're kind of like throwing out hitboxes here and there, they're throwing out way, they can throw out way more hitboxes than, uh, than the average neutral in this game. And just like that, you can see them both trying to uh, call, just catch each other's land landings because they're going to want to be in the air a lot. The aerial is really good. Jen wants to fall with Nair. Uh, so does um, Juice. Whoa. He tried he, to hit him with the same mix. How did he still bury him just now? That was pretty wacky. He tried <laughs> to hit him with the same mix. He got that first game. Yeah. He should have mashed that time. Okay, he goes out to Nair so he doesn't have to check. Yo, the back throw combos. The back throw conversions. Is he a nerfs? Nerfs who? Ooh, Juice trying to wait for air dodge there. Uh, Jen not giving it to him. So he's able to reset this neutral, kind of get back down to the ground. Okay. Dash Jack going to put him back in the air. Mm, that's punishable. I still turn around to try and catch the cross up. I this isn't looking good. Yep. Juice does such a good job of threatening your space while you're trying to recover. So you have to go low. And then just gives him the, the opportunity to down smash the edge and do whatever he wants with you. It's a good uh, it's a good flow chart for him to have with this character. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, he still had his uh, down beat. I've seen too many zero suits uh, be reversed that and not be able to come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was a little too good for that at the stage in the game, but he's gonna eat an up smash. Yeah, but I mean, he got the, he had a stock to waste. Yeah, for sure. He had a stock to leave. He's got another stock to waste. Yeah, he's looking right. pretty dominant in this uh, game nah. number three. Nah, I don't know if he wants to waste another one against Fox. <laughs> Fox will. Uh, Fox, Fox will schmix and mix. Absolutely. Not only is Light the comeback kid, but Fox is a perfect character to try and do it with. Like, you put it, you put him in the mix, and he's in the mix until you mess up. I will say, though, he doesn't mix as hard as he did in the last game, just because, like, the down air setups and footstool setups are a little bit different. Yeah. You know, now Fox can kind of just nair to, like, get a lot of stuff. Like, look at that. He just, like, landed two to just get that damage and, like, try and even the stocks out real quick, and he did. You know, yeah. not to say that Fox can't mix. I mean, we saw Jen do a mix before. He got, he hit him with a nasty one earlier. Yeah. He did, like, a full empty hop backwards into an up smash off of yeah, an up tilt. Like, it was so gross. Up, that up, 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 up air. Gonna do yeah, it. up B, excuse me. Gonna do it. Yeah. How Juice! Do take, how do you take out a Fox? Listen, I'm zero suit. I will be. Game over. Yeah, you, nice send, knowing you, you send him back to space. That's where, that's where Fox lives. It was nice uh, knowing you. Fox doesn't live in the woods anymore. He lives in space. Game yeah. number four. Game four. Stick the man Fox. is FD. Ban it. This Juice is at ban. Yep. Juice loves his platforms. That's true. I was about to say, like, why would you not ban Battlefield against Fox? I'm like, this is ESS. Nah, Juice wants the platforms. Yeah, he likes, he likes platforms. Even if his ladder combos aren't as potent as they used to be. Not his. You know, I'm talking about the characters. He realizes that the Pokemon Stadium is working, and, you know, Jen likes the stage. It's balanced. It's neutral enough. He says, like, you know, this is a fluke. I'll be able to do my work on this stage. You yes. Know? FD is the band instead. He just likes his platforms too much, like you said, you know. So we're just going to run it right back to Pokemon the Falter. But there you go. That's, like, four up airs and yep. already has Here's the lead. The mix. And th that's actually the first time we saw Jen kind of capitalize on uh, Juice's disadvantage uh, with up airs like that. Okay, back there. We're going to put you off stage. That's Shine. Nice shine. If stalling with the shine to actually make sure he was not in the position that Juice wanted him to be in, and that was below him by the ledge. Mm -hmm. And I like that upbeat from... See? Even if you parry, you gotta... Co <gasps> the reversal! That was nice! That was nice. Juice got caught overextending, and that's something that uh, Zero Suits do a lot. Zero Suit players, they definitely get uh, kind of deleted trying to over yeah. overextend. That was too fast to tech. Mm -hmm. He tried to tech that, but he couldn't. Yeah. And he almost like froze on the wall, like splat, bro. You're not taking it. Yeah, just the, you know, like the, the one major, one major change in teching in uh, Ultimate to Smash Four, from you, uh, Smash Four to Ultimate, which I'm sure you're all aware is that if a move has too much knockback, it hits you too fast. It actually yes. is impossible to tech. Yes, that is the new untechable, if you would. Okay. There you go, getting there you these go. falling neutral airs, just getting this damage. Yo, I still have combos. My character still has combos. Absolutely, and the pressure is just insane. Like you mess up and you try and pay something that you really shouldn't be, like. Ooh, he didn't get hit with the strong hit. The strong hit absolutely would have deleted him. Yeah. But Juice capitalizing on Jen's disadvantage there. The Jen on his tournament stock right now. This is not looking good for Jen. The coverage that he has with down B. Yes, so good, man. It's remarkable. He's just everywhere. And Juice, Juice really comfortable right now. Going to get this grab on uh, Jen. Put him off stage. Okay. 
Jay gonna get out of disadvantage with an up tilt. Gonna wait for his tech. Sit in shield. Mm. Tries to read that uh, directional air dodge right. Juice not giving it to him. Juice in very comfortably. He's confident. He's not gonna give you that type of option. He's picking the right ones. Okay. Mm. He wanted the up smash there. I actually saw the animation start coming out, but Juice is there. Gonna uh, clip him. Not gonna get much for it. One of the few characters that can punish Fox landing on their shield with a jab. Absolutely. Tries to cover it. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, there you he go. got him. That is it. No tech Great. coming out from Jen. That's it. Great job by Jen. Yeah, finishing a very solid fourth place here at Legacy Chapter 2. That was fourth? Yeah, this is loser semis. Oh. That's fourth place, my guy. I thought it was fifth place. No. Mm, okay. So fourth, that's great. That's great. Jen uh, yeah, qualifying qualified. for the uh, for the um, event at the end of the tournament. And Five, no, I mean, like, before, who got fifth place? It was uh, Frozen and... Fro Ling Ling, I think. Li uh, Ling Ling and Frozen. Or, no, it was something after that. Nonetheless, we'll talk about that after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jackal, Juice. Uh, another, I think another, we're going to have another good one here. Absolutely. Um, but in this matchup, um, Wolf is uh, a lot more easier to edge guard than Fox is. So... This might not bid well for uh, Jackal if he's not able to have his defense on point, which it doesn't look like it. Already off stage with 71% sitting on him. He's going to fare to try and reset the neutral, get back out of disadvantage. Um, I like it. For a recovery, man. I mean, that. it's just, you know, it's he's easier to gimp for just a multitude of reasons, you know. Yeah. The RP traveling the distance that it does, you know, definitely has the worst recovery out of the space animals. And if that was Ooh, not he enough, has no jump. Wolf's okay. side B, unlike the other two space animals, still puts him in a free fall. He cannot, uh, he cannot side B and then up B like his, uh, his star fox brethren can. Mm, and you see these grabs whiffing. It's just a testament to how um, <coughs> nerfed grabs are. Even the grab range is, is not as good. Ooh, yeah, okay. And that, recognizing how strong they were in the last game. And that's how crazy... Uh, ooh, he's going to go for the punt there. Nice. Out of shield, just going to uh, up tilt. Bop dodge, up tilt right there. Mm. <laughs> yes. There he goes. Poor stock going to juice. Stock going. But just like that, uh, we're talking about the recovery of Wolf. Um, Juice is able to put out a hitbox to kind of stuff out the side B if he decides to side B. And if he decides that he doesn't want to side B and he goes low, he can react to the, um, to the up B as well because of how much startup it has. So this really is not a good situation for him. Uh. Juice opting to uh, keep the juggle going uh. instead of like fairing and putting him off stage. I would like to have seen a fair. Put him in a really bad situation. And just like that, off stage, what do you do? The huge hitbox, Yikes. almost killing from the other side of Yo, the stage. If you would have got the, the other hitbox, it would definitely would have did it. But that oh, forward absolutely. tilt, he's going to eat it. Disjoint, two hits. Uh, really strong. Good move um, from Wolf. Okay. That's for breakfast. Oh, he's going to tech roll in. Not going to get that fair caught, though. Okay. These two just swinging. Okay, how do you break neutral? Okay. Neither player That's wants to overcommit with something. Neutral B breaks neutral. Yeah, absolutely. Neutral, the laser. Literally neutral button from Wolf. Absolutely. No one knows how to fight that yet. Nope. Let's just play the neutral. We're not at that stage in the meta. Mm, and no that tech looked coming out from Jackal, I don't yeah. know. Maybe he didn't attack it at all because he kind of shook his head. Yeah. But. I'm not completely sure. Yeah. That looked, I mean, he was, he was in low enough of a yeah. percent where it felt like it could have, but I don't know. The knockback on ZSS's back air is just so high and so strong mm -hmm. that it very well might have been untenable. Yeah, he was only at about uh, what was it, 170, 170. He, he might have just been shaking his head at like the situation. He had it. Oh, he had it twice, but he messed up both times. Yeah, that's uh, it's not, it's not something good right there. ZSS in at 93, definitely would have died. Uh, but how do you secure the stock now? And Juice is not going to put himself in a position where he's just going to stand there for you to land these up smashes. But this, it's good. It's good. And the kick is up. <laughs> it's good. Hey, son, Goku, <laughs> would you want to play a fun game and kick this football? <laughs> okay, but I'm going all out. <laughs> what? It's from the dumb comic. Anyway. You have to show it to me before you make a joke you, about I it. I, I can do whatever I want. Yeah, you can, I guess. Just like uh, make Wolf. Look like it, though. Yeah, just like Wolf. You're Wolf. He can do whatever, whatever he wants. <laughs> but not okay. right now. I mean, he's down. He's about 50%. I'm not That's sure true. if he can do whatever he wants because he might get hit by stray things like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that fair train, I mean, and game. side B. No, not game. Not All the way to the it. corners. That side B is, is a really good mix-up. It's kind of like Roy's uh, double-edged dance where it kind of puts you against the edge. Do you want to block? Do you want to parry? Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to sit and shield and get grabbed? Like, 
has a lot of mix to it. Very, a very scary move at kill percent sitting at the edge. He's probably going to secure this stock with it. Look, you see, he's fishing for it. Yeah. He wants it. That move is definitely quite the good one. There you go. Safe on block. Neutral air trying to convert into something. Okay. Dash attack. It's good. I mean, um, Jackal doing a good job of kind of just staying in this one. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he's just spacing himself properly and, and waiting for the opportunity. Yikes. Can't take it. Definitely can't take it. And that one. That up tilt going to do it. Jackal. Almost, almost looks as strong as the up smash itself. Yeah. He fist bump. Oh. My man yeah. popped off. Yeah, a nice. Bit. I mean, he knows he stole that one. Juice actually had it in the bag, kind of just flubbed it. Uh, Jackal giving some great DI on that last kill cutscene. Um, just like that. Oh. This was almost as rude as the Fox one. Hmm. And and is, you know he's uh, you know uh, Juice wants that one back because he didn't have to be there. He he easily could have uh, retreated to a platform. <laughs> he easily could have uh, re retreated to a platform and. Uh, Kind of reset the neutral, but he decided to land on him, which wasn't a good idea. Mm -hmm. okay. Here we are at Smashville. Smashville is the pick. That is the pick. Battlefield was banned. Mm -hmm. Now a nice small stage with platform. You know, a lot of a lot of pressure should be able to come out from Juice on this level. There's less room for Jackal to be able to run away and play his game, yeah. which a lot of wolves actually really like to do. They like to re wolf. Wolf likes to reset neutral yeah. a lot. Yeah. A lot. He loves to do that. And because he has such a great neutral tool in his neutral B as well, a safe projectile like that, which is just quick, reliable, attacks on good damage. It does pretty much everything for you. Mm -hmm. Smashville is the smallest of the legal stages. Mm hmm At least in terms of its layout, I believe. I think Blast Zone would be Unova. Yeah. And, you know, that just gives Jackal, like, less room to, like, play that neutral in and to reset the neutral for it. Juice now can be a little more aggressive. Mm -hmm. He has room to be aggressive. There's yeah. less room for Jackal to run away, and which laser, I think is why he decided to go to the stage. And laser isn't as safe as uh, you would think in this stage. Now, um, ooh, that up I don't even think he was at 100. I don't even think he was at 100. He was at something like the just late like 80s, that, that, like 90, something like that. Yep. that bla the blast zone is going to uh, come in clutch for... for um, Jackal in that exchange. Absolutely. The dash tag is good. No, it's not good. It is not good. Oh, Going to trade with that. I think that was fair to back air, but nonetheless, uh, Juice is trying to make it back on the stage. Jackal trying to secure this stock, yeah, so Juice cannot get any extra credit. Thinking back, though, is going to be able to do it. Not mm, quite. Yeah, not from that uh, from that distance. Now it Let should it do work. it here. Yep. Yeah, Juice. When he got grabbed, he knew. He knew it was over. Yeah. He okay. knew it was over. He knew it was coming. <laughs> Reminiscent of... What was that term? I don't remember the quote. Whatever. Whatever. However else the prog quote goes. Hey, hey man. Ooh, okay, He's awful that's out of jump. It. Okay, that's he it. Did. No, he oh. had his jump. Never mind. I, I thought, thought he used it. I actually thought he clipped it in him going off the stage and over just there. barely making it back in time with the side B back. Yeah. He almost got hit by the down B. Yep. That now this is bad. scary for Juice, because now you give Jackal the opportunity to obvious comeback, kind of put on some damage. Yeah. Mm, Juice trying to read that roll, but not there in time. Yeah. Uh, Jude, <laughs> Jude was given a second lease at life right here. He needs yeah. to attack on this damage and take advantage of it, which so far he is the mix. No, he doesn't mash. Yes. Nobody's mashing against there that anymore. Go. And no. now that now Juice knows that. I Next mean, he, time, he has to mash. And the down bruh. smash going to do it. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> bruh. 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 <laughs> you get hit with that, and it's like, yo, what, what just happened to me? <laughs> like, yeah, Wolf's down smash is... Wolf down, Wolf's down smash, like Peach forward air, is definitely like a how did that hit me move. Yeah. It's one of this game's how did like, that hit me moves for sure. And it's more like, yo, he didn't even tech it. He didn't tech it. So he's like, bro, how did this happen so fast? And run canceling in this game for Wolf, so good. Mm -hmm. So one good. of the things that makes uh, down smash such a potent yes. option. And there we go, the forward air into the, no, oh, don't die. Yes. He would have. Absolutely. This is scary. How do you get back to the stage? Juice taking on a lot of damage right now. Going to grab that shield, put him back off stage. Mm. Ooh, reading exactly where he was going to go, but he landed on the yeah. platform. I don't think he wanted to land Definitely on the platform. Definitely didn't want to land on the platform. Mm. Oh, okay. boy. Going to ask him. Going to politely ask him to stay on the ground. Yes, forward tilt. Oh, not, not going to kill yet. Not the strong hit of the forward tilt, though. He only got the one back one. Yeah. Strong one by the ledge would have potentially killed. Yeah, I think it would have killed. <gasps> gonna trade there. A little bit of a DBZ going on between these players right now. Great Juice is dive. down, but he is out. The up air gonna be able to do it. Juice going up 2 0 over Juice and Battlefield yes. immediate ban. And that was such a nice air dodge in that situation. Juice actually knew exactly where he was gonna be when they were off the stage. Just right, yeah, it's, gonna, it's coming up right here. 
Such a good air dodge. That was so nice. He just completely avoided it. Like frame perfect air dodge. Put himself back in the advantage. Juice overextended. Got Ada up tilt for his troubles. Yeah. <laughs> As you, uh, you I, were little, I guess you're a little parched. I, I, was, I was, I was a little parched. I was, I'm also very hungry. I gotta hit up Chick Fil A myself. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna get something to drink. Right yeah, here. please go for it. Smashville, game three once again. Jude apparently comfortable with this pick now, and Juice, of course, still is. He almost died, and within like 10 seconds of the match, he's at 90. While you were drinking that, you, while you, you were drinking yeah. that gave him power up. <laughs> I mean. The thing about um, the thing about Chick Fil A drinks is that they just give people power. No, up. the thing about <laughs> the thing about Wolfie, ah! my guy, you're dead. Just like that. That could just happen. Just like that. She can still explode on you, man, and yes. that's exactly what she does. She yes, has, likes to do. She has no problem exploding. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely none. Oh, the only, no, she does have a problem, however, with her parents exploding. It's but that's a story for another time. It is. Metroid uh, Prime yeah, Four, we need you. Just rip. Rip Samus. Rip Samus' parents. Rip Samus. Rip Metroid Prime 4. And look at that. Look how uh, polar this game is. How volatile. He was this close to dying. Was able to reset the neutral, get back to the stage. And he didn't die until 180, yeah. like, what, two just now? It just Which goes is to insane. It just goes to show how good these players are at survivability. Yep. You know? And, and also how viable each character is. Because, yeah. like, look. Either character can just, like, delete you. I love that, that so uppy. Good. I love yes. that uppy. Covering every option coming back mm -hmm. towards the ledge. I'm going to put myself right here. I know where you're going to be because mm -hmm. you have no choice but yep. to be there because your character's recovery sucks. is the buns. Not the buzz. The buns. The buns. <laughs> the buns. The it's not the buns. Congratulations to him getting picked up by Liquid. Anyway. Yes. Uppy. You're going to be able to do nice. it. Nice. Out of shield. You see Juice kind of finding some footing here. I don't know if Jack is kind of taking his foot off the gas or Juice is uh, adapting a little bit. But, I mean, this match could have been going in the complete opposite direction in the, with that combo that uh, Jack had in the beginning. Absolutely. Mm. That looked like a shield poke. Okay. Nair to the field goal kick. Fair. Going to put him off stage. Juice, how do you get back? He's going to wall jump into down B. Flip kick. Okay. First option in the ZSS is forward. They're able to stuff out Wolf's back air. Yes. Definitely out frame dating, uh, out frame data in Jackal right there, if that's a term, which I don't think yeah. it is. We but, just made know. it up. It's yeah. cool. We made it up. It's cool. You know what I meant. Mm. Nice Ooh, job by Down Jackal. smash was a good option there, but like the timing was just a little bit off. Juice uh, with a properly timed tech right there. Okay. And like he's kind of letting Jackal back in this one. He's not putting on enough damage. Jackal definitely has all the momentum in his favor. Uh, back air should kill at this uh, percentage. Okay, empty hop into jab. Gonna put him off stage. You gotta uh, do something here. Mm. Four till. Now the tides have turned. Yeah, he's trying. Ooh, Ooh, I like the neutral the air instead. Okay. I he, thought, think I, he was fishing for a back air right there, which I think the ZSS down would have stuffed out. Yeah, maybe he uh, C stick uh, back air, but he got Nair instead. Yeah, uh, C stick is weird. In this no, game. maybe Nair was better because back air would have had too much startup. Oh, yeah, you're, oh. you're yeah. right. Not worth it, though. Yeah, it would have been worth it. The startup of the back air would have been too not much, and the down B would have beaten it out. But the nair was quicker. Unfortunately, it was not enough for him to be able to take that game. Yes, Juice right. putting himself on the board. Absolutely. You know what really would have sucked in that situation? What? If he traded back air with the side B, and uh, Jackal got popped up <laughs> <laughs> and survived, and you still got spiked. That would have sucked. Juice would have at least... Rolled his eyes on that one. Yeah. At least rolled his eyes. That would have been horrible. A lesser man would have tossed his controller. And then Wolf would have got on stage, did some wolf things, <laughs> and you would have got 3-0. That would oh, suck. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, uh, we got Jackal. Uh, PS2 is the pick. Okay. What was the ban? Oh, I didn't even see. I think it was uh, FD. I didn't look. FD? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a good cast yep. me a collision. So it was... Uh, <laughs> So the band was empty. I like that. I like that band. Um, I mean, Juice bands that all the time. Though, yeah, so. not a fan of that stage. My man yeah. likes platforms. They help him with his pressure. They help. Uh, they help catch landings. You know, FD. It's definitely easier to land on there as opposed to most of the other legal stages that we currently play on. You yeah. know, so. And it helps with his disadvantage. Uh, gives him some more tools to land out of uh, disadvantage. Absolutely. Because ESS definitely does not like to be in disadvantage for very long. I can imagine sword fighters doing being pretty good at keeping her in that disadvantage. But we already saw what this man is capable of doing against the pro proficient Lucina. Mm -hmm. And the up smash out of shield. Nice. Gonna take the first stock. 
Okay. You see, uh, Jack kind of coming in this one very confident. You can see it in his movement and everything. He understands where he wants to be and, and what he wants to do. Uh, that's not. Uh, that doesn't bid well for a Juice. Oh, when you so re grab. Okay. He's at zero percent. There wasn't too much that, um, Jack could have did there to hard punish. Mm. So back air gonna put him back off stage. Juice has to do something here, kind of turn the tides. Nonetheless, just opting to reset the neutral, giving Jackal a lot of space on the edge of the stage just now. Okay, fair gonna miss. How do we how do we punish? Okay, nice fair, uh, nair to grab. Mm, you're dead. Yeah, absolutely. Up smash, no percent is gonna live that right there. Yeah, and I believe that moves stronger in this game as well. Oh really? Yeah. I know the hitbox is worse. Yeah. Yeah, at least I you think, said worse. I, I, think the I feel like it's worse. worse as well, but it's definitely stronger. That move wasn't really a kill option to like 130, 140. Yeah, I remember in four, it was definitely yeah. weaker. ZSS would always, almost always choose to up B instead of up smash. And there we go. No jabs coming out from uh, Jacko right there. Ooh. I'm actually kind of surprised because I was a missed tech coming out from Juice. Could have jab locked him into a forward smash there yeah. or something. But instead, he just ran up a dash attack, not being aware of the situation. I mean, I believe there are only four characters in this entire game whose jabs do not jab lock. It's Krom, Roar, Ganon, and somebody else. I don't remember who the fourth one is. But yeah, every yeah. other jab in this game locks. That's insane. A Bowser? I think Bowser's locks. That's pretty nutty. It's it's one other character, and like when you once you hear it, it's gonna be like, oh yeah, yeah that makes sense. We'll figure that out. Yeah, we'll we'll figure that out. It's not yeah. important right now. <laughs> Ooh, the goal! I like oh, it. No, I kick him in the crotch, Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> wow. The dash up to dash back into uh, up to like, bro. I know you're jumping, and this is a great anti air. Not only does it anti air, but it's gonna kill you. The dash back to dash in into the rudeness. Into the rudeness. Into the kick is good. <laughs> <laughs> into the kick is good. Take. Here we go. Now Juice has to do something here. You're on your tournament stock, 96%, and Jackal is sitting pretty, very confident that back air not going to connect, but landing up air to put him in disadvantage. Now they're slugging. Juice cannot slug, though. Right can't now is not the situation for him to slug. You can't uh, be trading blows going back and forth. If anything, it's not Jackal's uh, one to slug either. It's his time to force his advantage. Yeah. And if see, anything, Juice has to find a way in. Yep. And you see Jackal kind of implemented something new into his game this match. He's doing a lot of empty hops into grabs. Okay. Jackal just nodding his head at that one, thinking that was going to kill. Sit back there, okay. Trying to get the. Okay, here it is. Ooh, there you go. See? he was. I think it was sub 90, before, I mean, sub 100 before the uh, hit, and he was still able to kill. Nonetheless, uh, yeah. yes, oh, 168. You don't have your grab like in Smash 4. How do you survive long, how do you survive long enough to uh, be able to opt this comeback? Jackal uh, actually could have just dash attacked that down there and killed him. It's if he gets a nair to it's if he gets a nair to a down B by the ledge. That's what he's mm -hmm. gonna be fishing for. If I was Jackal, I would stay center stage. Yeah. I would chill right yeah. there on that little Pokeball. Exactly. That Pokeball is my space. It's white and red just like his outfit, you know. And just like that. And mm. game. There it goes. Game yeah. set and matched going to Jackal. Yes. Holding it down for Jersey. We got a Jersey Grand Finals now. The Great Gazal is going up against uh Absolutely. Jackal and Juice. Finishing at an incredibly respectable, incredibly yes. solid third place. So, uh, Jack was just out, uh, going to the bathroom right now. Take a little bathroom break. Why not? I mean, you just played a couple of sets. Uh, you deserve it. Is the snack bar still up? Uh, it probably still is still up. All right. Just from your mouth. That sounded crazy. <laughs> hey, man, you're not wrong. But Nobody I mean, wants to hear it. Listen, we got uh, Jackal and we got um, Gons right back in grand finals. Uh, Gons playing really well today. But, I mean, Jackal coming off that win against uh, Jackal, I mean, against Juice, and, yeah, coming off that win against Juice, has a lot of confidence, has a lot of momentum in his favor right now. Gans could be cold. There's a lot of factors that go into this, or Gans could just be yeah. really fresh. I will admit, you know, maybe it's like a more, like, mid-lower level player thing. There have been times where I've been in Grand's winner side of a tournament, and uh -huh. then I come back. And I just get body, 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 because I haven't played in a minute. Yeah. You know, sometimes Momentum that happens. isn't there. Momentum is a thing. But that just, uh, oh, and that back air, <laughs> we almost missed it. it happened so fast. Got, uh, Jack was doing a really good job of catching people's jumps. Because a lot of people want to jump over Wolf because they think that he can't get there. But he just reads the jump, and you eat a back air for it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that Wolf players love to do that off of yeah. dash attacks. They love to, like, double jump reverse, uh, uh, reverse aerial rush back air. Yeah. Wolf's just, like, get out of bed in the morning. They're like, I hope I hit somebody with that mix. <laughs> Word. I hope I hit somebody with that mix today. Okay. Here we go. Going out the neutral. Nice. 
Shining the explosive flame off. Of so he can shine the entire explosive flame? That's pretty nutty. Yeah. Ooh, and look at this. Jackal making quick work of Gons right now, already on his last stock in this game one of Grand Finals. Jackal letting him know, listen, I want to reset the bracket. Okay, damage, 23%. Easy butter, uh, bread, bread and butter combos. Easy bread and butter. Okay. Oh, but Palutena let him know I got some bread and butters of my own. Gonna drop that fair into uh, Nair, though. Hey, man, any Nair you can Nair, I can Nair better. Uh, sounds right to me. I can Nair any Nair better than you. And it doesn't look like Jack could tech either, because now he missed that tech. Now he can eat some damage for it. Trying to land on him with Nair. Uh, gonna eat an up tilt for it, no jump. And the uh. damage. Look at him now. 103. And I don't know what Gans just did, but he did something. Immediately F tilted on that platform and was able to catch Jackal trying to um, trying to throw out a button. I like that patience right there. You see yes. him charging the attack, and knowing exactly where he needed to go. Forward throw. Toss him off. Okay. Throw more back on. I know where you're gonna be. Yep. I'll grab you. I'm actually surprised that he got that grab. Okay. Just gonna run in and dash attack. Listen, this is invincible. Nice. Okay, that there. Could be good. Yep. He, he was forced to air dodge because of the uh, the, the fair, and then he ate a, a nair because he had to go to, to the drop. Not, not, well, not well, a good position that uh, Wolf wants to be in. Yep, and here you go. All it takes is one nair string. Yep. Already 37% getting that damage. damage. Yep. Uh, Jackal, if he wants to win this, he has to end it like soon. He does not want to give Gans the opportunity because he will absolutely take it. Intercepting with the nair. Yep. So I think with a dash attack, double dash attack. Oh, going for the up air instead of the back air right there. A back air would have launched him off, but it definitely would not have killed, but it would have yeah. put Wolf in a pretty bad position, putting him off stage. Yep, and just that, just like that, one over extension, and you eat a back air from Wolf, which is super strong, man, super strong. Yep. But here we go. Uh, no bands on the stage yet. Uh, I'm going to go back to the wolf, not picking Pichu, not throwing that up in the air. I guess they just communicate. You can see, and it's funny because you see the house guys come on stream. They don't even, like, get up. They they just go straight to the uh, yeah. the tablet. And then uh, you see the Jersey guys go up the stream, and they're actually still talking to each other, and they don't do anything on the tablet. <laughs> you got to remind them that they can use the tablet. <laughs> We're from Jersey. We don't got tablets over here. Yeah, house is a little too fancy for us. Mm, absolutely. Uh... But nonetheless, um, is this match looking like oh, dead? Yo, he absolutely would have died. There was, there's no doubt in my mind that he would have died. He probably could have survived. Oh, here we go, even game. Like, yo. Even game. Here we okay. go, the mix. I, I gotta notice, he doesn't really nair more than twice. He like tries to do it into an up air. I think he tries to get like more damage off that and like keep forcing him into a juggle. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'm not, you're dead. What, why? Why did you do that just now? I, I can't see a valid reason why you would have air dodged there. Jackal didn't even get off the ground. Like, he was still on the ground, and you just, like, air dodged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, Gon's probably is sending grants. He knows something that I don't know. For sure. But he's definitely taking this damage right now. Okay, tries to read a spot dodge with that F-Smash. Jackal not giving it to him. Jackal playing super safe. Not putting himself in a situation. And look at that grab range. I'm telling y'all, y'all think Nair is the problem. My man got scooped. My man got yoinked. There we go. Ah, uh, not gonna punish that forward smash. Kinda like Meta Knight, once it comes out, you just gotta wait Respect for the next it. option. Yeah. Ooh, and not enough distance on the uppy right there. Jack will gonna fall to his death. Yeah, and I feel like he had a jump there, but uh, maybe didn't want to use it. Nonetheless, still dead. But Gon's in at 119 right now. With a couple, uh, just a couple of uh, combos for Palutena though. Not out of the realm of possibility. Just gonna eat those Hitting two him lasers. With both lasers, yeah. Rising neutral air. Another Catching one. the neutral get up. Ooh. Tries to cover a couple options with that nair. Gonna miss space it though. Yeah, just Ooh. trying to catch him slipping with the up tilt. This grab should do it. Yep. Yep. And that is it. Khan's on his last stock right now. Yeah, looking um, pretty good. I like this. This FD seems to be working out pretty well yeah, for him. Definitely. It lets him play his neutral game really, really well right here. You know, just no platforms to interrupt, no platforms to get Eda pressure on, mm -hmm. as well as the neutral airs. And this is uh, this is actually Gonza's counter pick. So this is yeah, weird. absolutely. I mean, I don't know why he would do this stage. Maybe he just wanted to like. Maybe he felt like he could just wall jackal out. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Knowing Gonza's playstyle. How lame this man is at his core. Yeah. A stage with no platforms, like um, when you're playing as Palutena, it's just like, dude, why? You can like, ha have such great platform pressure with the neutral air. Yeah. He's trying to wall him out. Absolutely. He's trying to just like 
not press buttons and like just press the right buttons at the right time to make it so he can't get in. And it's not working, you know? It's not, not working at all. And this there, I mean, Gans is slowly creeping back, but he's not doing it fast enough. He's still taking too much damage uh, to be fighting against Wood. Ooh. Ooh, and the spot dodge coming out from Jackal. Gans still trying to punish that, uh, still trying to punish that force match. Once it comes out, if you're not there, you can't get there to punish it. You just got to kind of just got to respect it. Back throw, going to do it. Mm -hmm. Yep, 145. That's going to kill just about everyone in the game. Think we'll get an air strength potentially even this out right now. Or if Jackal's going to put another one on the board to potentially reset this bracket here. Okay, here we go. 140 saying on Gans. Uh, all of Wolf's kill moves are going to kill you at this percentage, and a couple of his non-kill moves, too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I did not to. 70%, you know what it's going to be, and the f tilt going to do it right there. Yep, spot dodges the back air, and then uh, immediately throws out an f tilt for his trouble. That was game two, right? Yep, that is game yeah. two. Let's see, uh, let's see where we're going here. They're not going to tell us. Oh, they just ran it back. You see, and it's funny because I'm seeing them at the character select screen, and I'm thinking they're going to choose the stage after. <laughs> it's so weird. Still uh, got Smash 4 habits. Not 2014 no more, dude. Right? But I'm going to go back. Let's see if Gon's uh, picked up on something new. That's why. It's because, like, Jackal can jump out of that. That's why he's going for the Elmer after the two nares. Yeah. I was wondering what the reason Makes was. Makes sense. See, there you go, mix up. Had to air dodge the back air, ended up just eating, uh, getting grabbed again for it, right back in the mix. Okay, that trade gonna put Jack in a situation where he can reset the neutral or maybe stay in advantage. And the stage, the back air there at the edge of the stage saved Gonza's life. Absolutely. Because he missed that tech. So he would've ate that down smash, absolutely. Nonetheless, uh, giving, giving Gonza a second chance at life. Ooh, and he can okay. put the mini fox right there, the falling neutral air into the down smash as opposed to up smash. Nice. Catches him twice. Is that a down tilt that killed? No, that was a uh, F tilt. Angle, I, I don't know if you can angle it, but. Uh, it no, the, the kick, right? No, 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 that wasn't down tilt. That was uh, the F tilt. The claws. The claws, yeah. Okay. Because I, because I used to confuse like Wolf's down tilt with like an angle down forward tilt a lot. Because it looks like an angle down yeah, forward tilt. Yeah, it looks tilt. like Fox and uh, it looks like Fox and Falco's forward tilt just on the ground. No, it's not. It's just a down tilt. Yeah. yeah. But you Jackal see, um, poised once again, up yes. again. Has all the momentum right now. See, so good job going low, not using your jump, avoiding the entire auto reticle. Okay. Back air. Oh, and he survived it. Nice. Yeah, saved his jump too. He air dodged first before yep. using his jump. If he did it the other way around, he definitely would not have been able to make it back. And shining through the explosive yes, flame as well. Very smart. In a situation like that. I think my man learned the matchup. Yep. Palutena doesn't come off stage. He just, uh, he just shined that. Oh, and that, uh, I was just about to say that. Where do you go? That down tilt, uh, putting him at two. He's too high percent for him to confirm anything off of it. But the fact that he had the air dodge forced him to have to go into the drop zone. And that nair lasts way too long for you to be able to spot uh, air dodge it. Mm -hmm. Okay, down tilt mix, 25%. Nice. But uh, the last one was going to be a neutral air. Mm -hmm. Wolf was a fast faller, so uh, he, it looked like he held down and just tried to get out of it. That was his... Uh, game plan in that situation. Yep. Let's see if Gans picks up on it next time. Mm. Okay, he tried to call out the jump. Uh, Jackal not giving it to him. I mean, Gans doing a good job of uh, bringing this one back. Even percentage pretty much right now. Oh, whoa, forcing him to mm. jump and he was still able to get the strong hit of the side B on his way back? Are you yeah, kidding that me? that was nice. That was really good. I had no idea he was even in a position to do that. Okay, and you see uh, Jackal, he keeps trying to land on Palutena with Nair. That up tilt is going to beat that Nair uh, nine times out of three. And back throw should definitely not do it yet. Need to be a much higher percent for that. Gons off stage, okay. trying to force his way back. Let's see the ledge trapping. No, Ooh, forcing right. his way through with that invincible yeah. hitbox. Oh, just lets him down to the ground for free. Okay. Safe on block, invincible hitbox on the neutral. Both these nice. guys feeling each other out right now. He's able to break it with a dash attack. But the up tilt, raw, yeah. with the missed pivot grab right there, capitalizing yeah. on that situation. Try and grab in this game, you will eat something, man. That grab has a lot of uh, FAF frames. Now the question is, if, like, a Jackal resets this bracket right now, is there a counter pick from Gons? Mm, that's a good question. 
Ness. That's Simon. A, that's a really Ness, I think maybe. And the crazy thing is, I think he either goes Simon or Ness because. Oh well, well let's. Uh, we'll figure we'll that out. We'll cross that bridge when we come. You know, he hasn't lost this game yet. Okay. He very well might be about to though. He's up a full stock mm -hmm. in terms of both percent and Absolutely. stock right and now. Now he's just he's fighting for his life right now. I'm just fighting for my to, life. He just went off stage. Wolf went off stage trying to get the game. Yes. I'm thirsty for it, man. I yep. want to reset this bracket, win this tournament, and here we go. And he kind of uh, and he kind of like misjudged that nair, and he might not have been able to make it back after that nair. He went really really low, but yeah. nonetheless he had a stock to play with. So I think the he was able I think the it. nair has enough like. Uh, uh, has little enough end lag to the point yeah. where he would have been able to up E back. Yeah. But maybe. Yeah, I definitely. Don't know. I mean, it, it was close. The point fact that it was close it makes oh, it, like, yeah. scary for you to do that in a tight game. But uh, they're often to go to PS2. Immediate Palutena. Yes. We're not switching. I need a top tier. That's what yep. my man is saying. One, yep. Go. I'm going to keep up. And now, as we were talking about, I would have liked to have seen the Simon because the, where Simon. Uh, where Simon is bad is off stage. Like he gets gimped super hard. Yeah. Wolf isn't going off stage. So yeah, yeah, that's true. But I mean, it's it's just gonna be really interesting how like he would deal with like Wolf Laser yeah. in the neutral because like Simon's air speed is actually very very bad. It's uh -huh. like his major flaw as a character. So like he besides like parrying, he would have to like just jump above like the uh, Wolf Laser a lot, and then yeah. Wolf is just gonna like mix that up and like just not shoot the laser once he lands, and then just intercept him with like one of Wolf's amazing aerials. Yeah. Not that like so much Wolf is like a rushdown character because I agree. I think Belmont's like definitely do the worst against rushdown characters. It probably wouldn't have been too bad, but I think Wolf still would have probably had the upper hand. There. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen it. I, I would have yeah. liked. I would have loved yeah. to see it too. But you know, Gon's like, I like to win. I need Palu. I need Palu. I, I mean, he did it. You know? Oh, you're dead. Oh no. Oh, Whoa. That he, sent away. Yeah, he did. Just like that. It's so. It happens so fast. It's like you're you're there, and then like you're not here anymore. <laughs> I can't say it, man. Okay. Nah, he's gonna shield that uh, aggressive approach back to the stage. I'm just gonna. Um, Give him a nair to put him back off. Nah, no jump. You're dead. Peace. Good job. And that was actually the first time that Jackal got hit by that. That's how yeah. he lost almost all of his stocks yeah. in Winners Finals. Exactly. So in this set, Jackal has kind of like adapted to it very well. Absolutely. But let's see if uh, Gans can do a little bit of adaptation himself. He had a whole set to do so. Now this is the reset. What you got, Gans? Okay, nice. Another empty hop. Now he's implementing that once again. He wasn't doing it the last match or the, towards the end of that last set. Mm -hmm. Now he's implementing that empty hop again. Let's see how many times Gons lets him get away with that before he uh, before he turns it over. <gasps> that was a Ness habit. That was absolutely <laughs> was. a Ness habit. It was. He thought that Palutena had Ness's air dodge. <laughs> but she ain't got that. She may have everything, but she ain't got that. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my god, in the neutral air, just stuffing that out before the backer even comes out. Jackal, he, he's winning, man. He really wants to win this tournament. That was actually pretty hilarious. There's no reason why he should have thought Palutena was getting back from there. It was the a mistake. Dive. It was a mistake, man. Don't rip on him for it. Man. It's funny, but don't rip on him for it. That's crazy. Now he's sitting at 72%. Uh, Gaffa still has two stocks. Oh my gosh, he could have forward smashed him again. Yeah. He could have just did it again or forward tilted, and he probably would have died. Wolf's forward smash is almost there completely safe on blocking. There is the Wolf special. Mm -hmm. Actually, funny enough, you designed it's the opposite of Fox's. The falling neutral air to the down smash. Yeah, it's falling neutral air. It's interesting smash. how they designed it yeah. like that, considering That's he's like funny. the antagonist. But go on, That's what funny. were you saying? I was going to say, you know what's going to be funny? <laughs> if he picks an S now. <laughs> If he's like, uh, Gons, yeah, Gons. just go Ness. Gons, please, for the people. The people want you to play Ness. This is the only time the people will ever want nope. you to play Ness. He's going straight follow. All right. Wow. And I, I don't think he I don't think he tries anything uh, game. I don't think he tries anything game. Uh, if this goes to game three, if, if Jackal takes this set as well, mm -hmm. I don't think he tries anything else. Okay. Here we go. Dash attack. Dash attack. <laughs> He's going to cover his landing twice. But uh, Jackal not afraid to be offensive in that situation. Absolutely not. Yeah. Okay. Back air. Okay. Couple bread and butters coming from Jackal now. What do you do? Down throw. Fair. You're off stage again. Explosive yeah. flame. Force wall blow. Get him with the explosive yes. flame. I mean, get him with the, uh, the uh, what do you call The neutral beam. And force him low again. Neutral that air. was slick. Yo, he had enough time to get there to get the grab, but he raw he raw um, approached him, emptied, uh, landed, and just grabbed him. That was so slick. 
Yeah, that was actually a sick fade. He made him think he was going to do one thing and then just totally did another. Yeah, it was insane. Twice. Which is just a it mix. Was, it was two mix-ups because he not only uh, baited him or uh, mixed him up with eh, back here, not going to kill yet. Look at what percentage he almost died at. And that down smash would have killed him. Absolutely. Fully charged. Yeah, that was insane. Okay, they're going to do it. Good it. job. Take that rage away from Wolf. Wolf is a rage monster, man. So. Yeah, that back air kills him 90 percent. And there you go. Mess with him. Forward yeah. smash, safe on block. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jackal understanding the, the, there are a lot of moves that he can kill him with, so he's just trying to pick the right one. Not trying to overextend. Okay. I'm going to keep him in the corner. Good job. Spot Dodge is going to get that grab onto, onto Gantz. Okay. Backer. Oh, no. Just going for the fair instead. Kicking yeah. the crotch. Not going to kill. Mm. Kick is to not good. Yeah. <laughs> Try to cover that landing with the, with the dash attack. I like the, I like the double jump over the auto reticle. Uh, yes. Hitbox is right there with the back air. Definitely what you want to do. If you can bait out that auto reticle and you're in the air, you still have your second jump, you could definitely punish that. If your character is fast and small yeah. enough, too, you can just run below him mm -hmm. and just grab her for it. Yep. If she ever does it in neutral, which most Palus aren't going to do in certain situations. That's why I like Roy. He kind of like shifts his hurt box down exactly. when he, he like runs. And then, uh, so if I'm running out of Palutena and she tries her explosive flame or auto reticle, yeah, you're going to eat this dash attack. You know who doesn't do that anymore? Who? Luigi. Ugh. Just stand straight up. Like, oh! Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, you know, I, I just, it, it's okay. Uh, Last stop. Ran out of stage to be able to get that uh, dash attack on. Gonch just tipping a little low to avoid it. And now the Nair String, air dodging the up air with perfect timing is Jackal to get out of that Palutena combo. Maybe that was a misinput. I don't know. It was, it was Whatever. a pretty good misinput. But I mean, I guess it was you a misinput. I guess you reset the neutral, like, completely. Yeah. <laughs> Not only, like, in positioning, but in uh, percentages. Nice air dodge. Okay. Gonch just trying to, like, find his footing, though. Um, Momentum still in uh, Jackal's favor. But just like that, he's off the stage. Supposed to play. I'm going to put him right back up in the air. How do you get back down to the ground? Kind of mix it up with your uh, with your aerial mobility. Not that it's great, but good enough to get you out of that situation. Okay. Mm. Jackal trying to uh, hold on to this rage right now. 122 sand on him. He has a lot of things that he can do. To Whoa. That was dash attack. Yeah. That just got beat. I guess he hit him in the head. Or hit Palutena in the head, and Palutena doesn't have, uh, like, invincibility on Ooh, her head. Oh, you're in a bad spot with the falling there! Yeah, that sucks. He didn't even, like, go back on stage after the fair. He just con continued to drift past the edge of the stage and threw out the nair. Yeah. Because <laughs> he knew it was just going to work. Yeah, that sucks. Not only is that good to catch the two-frame, but uh, if you air dodge it, you just, you just get him deleted. Okay. I'm sorry, I need pretzels. Nah. I'm so hungry. <laughs> no worries. But I mean, really good job by uh, Gans to close that one out. Whoa. And these guys look tired. But, but I mean, his grandfather. Grand top 8 was really long today. We had a lot of, like, really long sets Three. in top 8. Yeah. Much longer than I thought it was going to be. We didn't have Leon to side beat people uh, to death. Leon, <laughs> Leon literally f speed br uh, ran the bracket at Legacy 1. <laughs> Not because he was like completely bodying people, but the games were just so fast. He was just side beat people, people would gimp him. He'd side beat people, people would gimp him. Yeah. And then that was the end of the game. <laughs> That's true. Nonetheless, um, Yeah, shout out to Leon, man. Jack was in here. A couple combos, a couple early percentage combos. Gonna put Gonza in disadvantage. 101 sitting on his uh, first stock. Ooh. Okay, that air dodge. I don't know what Jack was really. Oh, maybe he was waiting for an air dodge in. Directional air dodge in. Potentially, yeah. Yeah. Down to cover that for sure. That had so much shield stun. Gon's input right didn't even come out. He tried to dash grab and he didn't even get it. Okay. Rising to Julia caught the jump. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, uh, Gon's is trying to down tilt his up B. Uh, in a lot of situations, like, it's a scary thing. Because if you get hit with the wrong hitbox on that up B, it's just going to yank you right off the side of the stage. Mm. Ooh, anything yeah. you can do, I can do better. Yeah, absolutely. He tried to read the spot dodge, didn't give it to him, and he ate. A forward smash. Forward. Oh, you like uh, you like that frame 50 F smash? Oh, here you go. Here's 10. <laughs> yeah. Or something like that. Here's Just great. some significantly smaller number. Oh. Oh. And that's the thing about explosive flame. Um, even if it's not hitting you initially, the blast radius gets bigger. 
So, like, if you're standing close to it and not getting hit, you might still get hit if you stand there. Well, that's one of the differences between a top player and a mid-level player. Mid-level player just tries to hit you with everything. Gons, with his explosive flames, he knows he's forcing Jackal into a different position with yeah. him. He knows he's forcing him to go low even if he misses the explosive flame. He's like, if it hits, good. If yeah. it doesn't, it's forcing him to go low. And then yeah. I can auto reticle him. And good he job. knows that. Mm -hmm. Now, good job by Gons in that situation. In the last time, the last situation like that one, he threw out an F smash to cover the spot dodge. This time, he obviously just used jab, which was a lot safer. Um, not safe, but um, a lot safer than throwing out an F smash. And he, and he actually got rewarded for it. But that dash attack gonna uh, clip Jackal on his retreat to the middle of the stage. Okay, Gons yeah, just saying he's good. Yep. <laughs> How do we get back to the? Um, to the edge of the stage now. Gons is scared. That ill-advised dash attack. Mm -hmm. Sitting at really high percent. Wolf he was has just standing really there good waiting tools. for it, man. Yeah. Come on. Too many good tools uh, for you to throw that move out. Okay. Nice nair. Yeah, platform pressure with the nair, man. It's so easy. Covers the whole thing, my dude. Ooh, an explosive flame to neutral, but he gets a grab off of uh, Jackal's approach, actually, and forces him off stage, almost gimping him, actually. That would have been huge. Yeah, absolutely. Especially for this game, since he's down a whole stock. Back he throw. didn't let it happen to him, though. Okay. If Gans could, uh, Gans could really turn the tide here if he's able to take a stock. Yeah, nice. Had the situation, but there was a really good air dodge coming out from Jackal. Really good reactions. You know what move we haven't seen from Gans? What? Ooh, oh, because. Might be dead, yeah, there in the reach. Yikes. Hit him with the Manny Petty, the claws. Yikes. Whoa, now, I, as I was getting ready to say, you know a move we haven't seen from Gons? What? Up smash. That covers the ledge really well. But I mean, he's been, using, really he's well. been using dash attack. I mean, um, down tilt, which is also a really good move that covers the ledge really well. It covers the ledge really well, but I will admit, it is committal. Mm -hmm. Palutena yes. misses that, it's a punish. You're right, you're right. So that, that's why we haven't But offstage, it. it's you, a scary Yeah, thing. he could just rise with a fair and then like land another forward air or something, Go! potentially a nair, and just like, you know, Wolf gets all that damage all of a sudden. It might not be as good offstage unless you know for a fact that like Wolf is going to do this, unless you go for the hard, 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 hard read. But anyway, final destination is the pick. Yes. What is potentially the final game of Legacy Chapter 2? Jackal needs one more to be able to win this tournament, resetting from the okay. first bracket, resetting in grands, and Greg Gonzalez needs two more to be able to win this. Let's yep. see what they can do. And you see Gans, uh, you can already see him playing, uh, slowing this game down uh, completely. He does not want to try and box with uh, Jackal. He kind of wants to pick him apart slowly and outlast him. So I'm not too sure how that's going to uh, bid for him, but uh, it seems to be working right now. Yeah, so far it's actually working out pretty well for him right now. I mean, he's even like catching like his get-up options with like a neutral error, just any other type of move. And look at all the damage he's really getting for it in the meantime. The lack of platform seems to be working wonders for him right now and catching his landings, except for when he misses with dash attacks like that. But for the most part, it's working out pretty well for him. Okay, nice em empty land into uh, to back throw. Ooh, gonna miss that grab. We need a jab forward by Wolf. Okay, and Jack will still be still being offensive. Uh, ooh, and he kind of just falls right into it. I don't, the not, too sure, uh, not too sure what he wanted out of that one. It's fair to back, uh, to back down. I'm pretty sure that's safe. There we go. Dash attack. Ooh, ooh. tries to hit him with the hard read instead of going for another dash attack, potentially not wanting to steal it. And he's just spamming it now. Look, ah, yo, looking like scary. me. He's looking like me right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. That ain't Mario. Nah, that's not Mario. That's not Mario. That fast smash I mean, is safe on block. Pretty, pretty I mean, scary. Mario's is if you space it, right? Which is pretty easy to do. But that wolf, on the other hand, it doesn't matter how you space it. You shield that move, it's not going to matter. It has yeah. such a little lag, he's going to be able to run away, do another one, do whatever he wants, yeah. really. Had a lot of hits on as well, so. Exactly. And you see Gon playing a really, really safe. He understands he still needs... Ah, just he, needs like to, that. he understands he needs to not get kicked in yeah. the chest. <laughs> That's what he needs, but unfortunately, that understanding didn't mean anything. He's going to get kicked in the chest anyway and lose his first stock. Okay. No neutral there. I thought, I thought he was going to nair right there. He's, he's playing Palutena, so I thought he was going to nair, but still. Right. I really thought that's what he was going to go for there. Back throw, going to put him off stage. How do we get back? Down two. If he landed that fair, he would have died. Not from the fair itself, but he would have been too far away. And then, like, Gonsh just would have auto reticled and gimped him again with it. Which, gotta, which I gotta say, for the most part, 
Jackal's adaptation is huge from Winner's Finals. He's doing such a good job at avoiding that situation. Yeah. He got hit by it yes. so many times last game, and an unfortunate air dodge SD can come out to Jackal, showing that literally the best of us do that. But yeah, Jackal's just adaptation is just so amazing. He's just yes. doing such a good job of not getting hit by that. He lost like almost all of his stocks in Winner's Finals to that. And like now, he got hit by it like once in both sets. Yep. It's, just, it's, it's really good. Yeah, 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 the auto reticle is a really good option for uh, Edge Guarding Wolf. And I don't think uh, Jackal wants this game to go to a game uh, a game five. No, I think he, he wants to win right here. Yeah. He's, ooh, and that explosive flame going to catch him. How do we get back down to the ground? We don't. I think he did touch the floor. Going to get his jump. Nonetheless, reset, uh, neutral going to get reset. The counter? No. I've never seen that move kill. Neither have I. Unless it was a gimp. <laughs> wow. Yo, everybody forgets that Palutena has a counter. We all, we all need to forget because she shouldn't have a counter. Hey man, that's a, that's us complaining. Hey man, she has a sword. Well. She has a sword. She's a sword character. She, she has a staff. She, she has she's a, staff. a sword character. It's a staff. Like Raiden. Raiden has a staff now. She does. She does. You'll see me in MK11. I cannot <laughs> wait. I'm gonna play that. Game that game. Yo, please. Yo, we, nice. yo, we gotta play. It's gonna be nice. We gotta play. It's gonna be. It's on Switch too. It's gonna be fresh. It's gonna be fresh. See my job. And we had. Oh, they played the same characters. All Day. three sets. For all three sets. Yes. Yeah. All these guys committing yep. to their brand new fangled top tiers. Yeah. I mean, Jude already made the top tier before. He played Pichu. Oh! oh! I knew it. He hasn't tried that the entire, the entire um He was saving it for set. the last game to make sure it worked. But even, like, I felt that was coming. I'm not surprised at that at all. Oh, no. But, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, Jackal didn't have any any options. No. Like, he didn't have a jump. He didn't, uh, he couldn't air dodge. His aerials weren't going to come out fast enough to contest it. And his up B has all the startup in the world. Yeah, he was dead. And there's a fair string. Oh, my God. Down tilt. Nice. Nice. He, he, he was trying. coming to the start of this, the beginning of the stage. Now, the Gons figured something out. This is a completely different game. Either that or he just got an early stock and he's doing a really good job at forcing his advantage. Yeah, That's this, another is, thing. this is really good. Oh, he just waited. Back there, we're going to put him off stage. Dude, he just waited. I feel, I'm feel i going to feel so bad if he wins. Jude fought so hard. Yeah. But it ain't over yet, though. And here we go. Okay. Going to empty. Now he empty landed with the grab, but uh, he actually got the tech out of it. My man spamming the down tilt. Uh, that was his second time actually recovering high with the up -beat. Jackal's gonna try and cover that next time he does it. Mm. Ooh, up smashing, trying to get raw back. Those gonna do it. He's down two stocks. Jackal holding his heart. Yes, this Actually, is not looking good. This is looking there. very grim. If he does this, he's a god. Okay. I mean, but he's taking the there right now. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how he should feel about this. 122 cent on the great Gonzalez. Jackal on his last stock. He has one last string <laughs> left on this rope before it breaks. Yeah, he needs to take this stock now if he wants any chance of bringing yeah. it back. No, you got, hit by, you got hit by a pallet neutral air, but then you got to grab it your own. Okay. Tossing him go. off. Off stage. No auto reticle coming out because it got hit by the actual stage. Mm. Half tilt. Nice. That's one. There we go. I say Jackal can't go over 80%. I say he can. I, I don't think so. I think if he goes over 80%, he loses this game. I'll bet a dollar. Okay, this is looking good. Oh, that's almost. Oh, oh God. my God. It's already at 60. That was two hits. Oh, my that God. That was three hits. Oh, ah, 80.9. Just, uh, uh, just to spite me, 80.9. <laughs> I said over 80, though. So he has to go to 81. He has to go to 81. Oh, that's technically over 80, but you're right. You're right. Oh, yo, okay. he might not do it. Here we go. Yo, Sheldon. Here we go. Sheldon. Here we go. Sheldon. Oh, here we go. This is scary. I think, right. uh, okay, one more neutral exchange. If he yeah. sets the neutral, he can he can do it. He can't he can't go get put in disadvantage again. Back oh, row, not gonna do not it. Gonna, this is not looking good. Auto reticle. Think slow to avoid it. There you go. Has oh. to air dodge. He gets, I'm surprised. He's forced to right there. I, I'm surprised he didn't frame trap him. But there you go. That is it. You don't you can't give Gons too many chances to uh to delete you, man. Gons is one of the best punishers in Jersey. Not only in this game, but um. In Smash 4, his play style, he's just a great uh, pun. His punish game is, like, really, really good. Second to James and Nairo in the state. Absolutely.
Absolutely, man. And hey, got to clap it up for him. Yep. Gons, your Legacy Chapter 2 champion. Good job. Woo! Yes, definitely. Clap Good it up for your boy. Gons. Yeah. And you can tell, like, even, even today, like, Gons has a certain presence that he kind of carries when he's at a tournament. Today, he just seemed different. Um, not that, like, I mean, like he was weird or anything, but he just seemed different. His presence was different. It was very confident. It was very, like, uh, Tournament mode. Yeah. Exactly. He definitely looked like he was in tournament mode, ready to win this event. So good job by him. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But well, shouts to uh, shouts to House of Three Thousand. Yeah. For uh, wonderful streamers. Streaming the best uh, of the business. this event. Uh, couldn't uh, can't thank them enough. They do such a really good job. This stream setup. Every time I see it, it just upgrades. So if you guys are looking to hire House, uh, definitely do it. Stand up, people. Um, Legacy Tournament. The next one, actually, we have the wrong slide up. The next one is actually going to be April 27th. We just got to update the weekend after Pound. So it's going to be huge. We got enough time to promote, enough time to get more people here. It's definitely going to be a sight to see. Um, April 27th is the next event. Uh, be there at B-Square. I'm not sure when the next Xeno Saga is. That's going to be another one that uh, people don't want to miss. Actually, now that your date has been sorted... I'll take the 13. Oh, uh, okay. All right. There you go. So Xeno Saga is going to be on April. What about my 13th? tournament? Uh, Nintendo Saga. Yeah, it's, it's being hosted out of my garage. Yeah. Nintendo. Oh, he's already leaving. See you later, guys. Good job, guys. <laughs> I was about to say, I was going to be like, I don't know if you guys do interviews. I would, I would be down to do that. It's yeah. up to... Yeah, Gon probably doesn't guys. want to do an interview. He nah, like, no, he's he already dipping. Like he's Jude go. definitely does not Sorry, want to do an interview. Ahead. He just lost. You don't want to do that. Oh, you can interview me. My name's Goffin. See all right, you later. This is my Twitter. Oh, oh, oh I was going to do it. I was going to be like, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, we got my man Goffin. Uh, okay. He's hosted Legacy Chapter yeah, 2. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, short uh, little so, interview. So, so how do you feel about... Oh, oh my God, you good? Oh, oh you just... Oh, you're trying